Go. All right. Welcome to the OSRS podcast, where we talk about <coughs> RuneScape-related things. You son of a bitch with RuneScape-related <laughs> content creators. I am Nick Cat, one of your hosts, followed by the people down below. What is going on, guys? Rex as always. Rex up here. And Mika, give us a little laugh. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't really happen, man. I'm sorry. Oh, there... <laughs> that's, a, that's a good laugh, there. <laughs> nice try, dude. It's gonna be Welcome, a clown, sh- clown podcast. <laughs> wow, Mika's not a clown. All right, his content's all right. <laughs> Glad to have you on, Mika. Welcome, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. You're welcome, man. No worries, man. No worries. <clears throat> okay. So, right, I was just, I, I'm really curious. Like, bo- all right, boys, before the podcast started, we were just talking about our preference in women. So, Mika. <laughs> Do you, yeah, like him, can... do you like him funky and chunky, dude? Come on, tell us some beats. I really yeah, want to hear this. Bro. What do you mean, man? No, I'm me, Mika's apparently in a relationship. Just... Right? Are you in a relationship oh! right now? <laughs> all right, you didn't need to put out all the details, but let's, let's call it like that. Yeah. Ah, Instantly. Uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Can't, uh, can't, uh, can't really talk too much about it, you know? I, I mean, I can't help but notice you've dodged my question there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, what do you mean funky or chunky? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, we'll give you we'll give you a pass, man. It's, all right, good, it's, good. it's all good. It's all good. Can we get that same question to Rice now? Just say, yeah, what? No, I'm we've already, already a, we've already, already established that we Reed has a massive foot likes. fetish, dude. No, oh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you do, man. Nah, chill, bro. <laughs> all right, tell dude, us what you really like, bro. You guys be writing like? fan fiction for me, dude. Like, that's yo, fine. I don't dude. want no fan fiction. Rice mm-hmm. lives in a place where there's a lot of beautiful women. That, uh, uh, we gotta make games, bro. Nobody got time for that in, stuff. In, in Chinatown, dude. <laughs> and you know what those girls like? They like cute little boys. Uh, let's let's be honest, dude. They rich. Podcast. They rich, bro. They don't. They don't want no. You know. Dude. Yeah, no, but dude, you're boy. like you're like an entrepreneur. You can be like I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, but like, so how many millions you got? It's like I don't have one. But oh, okay. show me your account. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like you're not the son of a rich business owner. I'm out. Peace. Wait, right, anyways. You, are, are you allowed to say where you live? Uh, I live outside of Boston. I don't live in Boston. Ah. That's crazy well, expensive. So there's a lot of rich, fine girls in Boston. N- you know, it's because... Okay, this is already a tangent, all right? So anyways, Boston, tons of colleges, universities, and ton of ah, people are foreign. You know, they, <clears throat> they uh, study abroad here. And a lot of them are rich people. You know, rich shit. people's kids, like governors, kids, or like big companies' kids. Oh. They're just, you know pay oh. the top dollar and they go to those you know expensive schools and they just, they just go there they well, so what are they like are, are they are they are they nice or are they kind of like no they they up? do they're kind of stuck up a lot of them hang with themselves yeah. i mean not all of them are assholes but a lot of them just kind of hang with themselves you can tell they wear like the crazy expensive clothes you know they drive like some crazy ass rental cars like you just know when when it's, it's all those. started man <laughs> This all you're, started with you just know. Chunky, dude, I, oh, dude I, can, I can just imagine all of these like fucking rich princesses, and then you are there in like your jogging shorts, running along, shitting in people's gardens. Oh uh, no, that's, <laughs> that's not in Boston, man. You know, those are different eras, dude. Those are, uh, okay. Those are different Sorry, eras. The podcast, Mika, have you even heard that story? Yeah, I've, you know? I've listened okay. all about it, dude. I know everything. No, it's okay. a yeah, it's a it's an actual <laughs> shit story, like literally. <laughs> Alright, yo, are we doing Q and A with Mika, or are we good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mika, what have you been up to so far? Um, right now? Past month. Let's, let's go. Kind of just, kind of just playing a lot of league, waiting for. Okay, anything but what are you really doing with your life? Dude, what do you? What do you? Okay, okay, I'm kind of, I'm, dude, I'm moving out in like a month, so it's a lot of stressful oh, stuff to man. take care of. Oh, yeah. So, just don't pull a friend, yeah. bro. Just yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about friend. that. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's <laughs> like what's on my mind a lot and yeah yeah no, you I, live in I, like I, a college area right yeah yeah no longer a student after the next month so it feels bad but Ooh, what are you graduating from what are you <laughs> no. escape, clicking simulator no. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, the what will you get for your degree uh yeah nothing man i'm a i'm a i'm a filthy dropout dude nah, so, oh yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah, it's uh, I- I'm taking a little bit of a break from studying in the next month or so. Oh, you're taking a gap. We're going back. You're taking yeah, a gap. Yeah, we're year. going back. I see. Well, yeah. What are so, you doing? What are you doing with your gap year, dude? What's your plan? Oh, I'm taking more than one year. Ga- no, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna do YouTube a lot. That's it and streaming. That's pretty much. Okay, the plan. so actually, I never asked you. What What are you going to school for? Right now. Okay, so, um, it was basically like, 
Okay, so that in English would be like, I guess, um, programming. Oh, I guess would be the yeah. closest computer to science. like translate to. Yeah, that's probably. Compu what computer could you science. use your skill set to do right now? You know, could you make like a game, or could you hack? Yeah, what language? No. I'm what too. Languages I'm too dumb for that, dude. I, I would yeah. not make really a talented. Your program, like, what the fuck? What, <laughs> What are you doing, man? <laughs> yeah. do you stop Dude, I'm so, playing man. games. What do you mean, man? I'm playing yeah, news uh, What languages are you learning? What languages what? are you learning? Dude, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I only <laughs> I was only in school for like a month and then I, and then I went out. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, yeah so, you're yeah. just not I have my own deep. Story, dude. You're just not deep into school life. I yeah, pretty much. Yeah. What a... <laughs> I feel like... Dude, my parents tell me that every day. Come on, go easy on me. <laughs> It's all good. No, but I just wanna, I just wanna focus on like YouTube and streaming and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So. No, sometimes you can't just do everything for sure. That's yep, for sure. That's fair enough, man. As long as you're like committed to it and stuff. Yep. I'm yeah. Sure about... so, yeah. Go yeah. Ahead, I was gonna say the last series I saw you were doing on your YouTube. I don't know when you uploaded last. Was uh, the Dead My Mode World 45? So are you still doing that? And how's it going? Yeah. Okay. So I'm currently working. Like I took a little bit of a different approach because obviously when you start an account, it's pretty boring right you just progress your stats but i want to do like a bunch of pvming and a bunch of like swapping kind of videos so i don't know like that's what i had like in mind dice? right i would do not, not in like that way but for example you do a certain thing in world 45 for cer for certain amount of time and yeah. then you see how much you would make in that time in 07 <clears throat> that's the general idea yeah, i have right that's, now that's okay. a very good that's idea I like and, th and that's what i want to do but for the first part of the account i obviously had to get the stats so right now i have like 95 base stats with like 91 slayer and i can pretty much do anything so i just need to quest the account and then i can literally do all the video ideas that i originally yeah. wanted to do so all Make of those guess. videos leading up to this were pretty much fillers so if yeah. you ever okay. want to go pk man my original dead man mode account i think it's 94 mage like 90 base stats 90 slayer so we can go slap ass did you I'm you back. Dude, that would be fun, actually. I'm down to do it. I, do I would know, probably sweat so profusely, though. That game mode is scary. <laughs> it is. It is scary, Dean. Like when I, you get... I, sorry, go ahead, man. Sorry. Okay, yeah, when you get attacked, like you're doing Slayer out of nowhere, just the guy in full Ancestral hits you, It's you get shaky. I'm telling you that much. <laughs> and I PK like a lot, right? But you get shaky when you when you know that you don't have the gear to like tank them and shit. It's... It's like, nice. What do you it's exciting do? to play. You're in the best gear ever, and you're sitting there in rune, right? There's no fight back. Uh, it's... Yeah, you run. <laughs> you literally <laughs> run. <laughs> your dude, dude, crossbow with bolt is your best bet. Unless you get T beat, you can often escape by just like ladders or whatever. Or a lot of slayer monsters have like something aggressive next to them, and if they don't, you just have to skip the task. So. Yeah. Can, well, is Fair Earth Blood in World 45? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also one of the things I want to do, but it's super sketchy. <laughs> that's gonna, but that, I think that's going to be really exciting when I get to that point. Yeah, that's, dude, that's, like, that's awesome. Yeah, that's like sick. There's like Wait, why very little sketchy? items as well. Because nothing you. there is safe. Like, as soon as you get out of theater, you're probably out of supplies, right? And you can get hit by anyone. So, uh, what is yeah, shit so way? they kind of like, think, no, you're there. Yeah, I think you, you can enter it again, but you, you would need to like start a team. You probably can't. So you would basically need to have you like have freezes time. on you. You need to run to the bank and then tank from there. Get a you could just, could out. you not just put a scout outside or like have it you spectate can, yeah, in the game? I mean, that's then, the yeah, so old game. Yeah. Or another thing is obviously as soon as you get out, you spam click teleport and then you teleport to safety and then you run all the way back there pretty much. But yeah, obviously scouting is one of the way to avoid it. Yeah, and you know, you know how I don't know if tactic. you guys caught the one of the patches like recently. They did it so you can no longer um, use the scrying orb in that place thingy because I think people scouted like that or I don't know exactly how it was. You know how you can watch TOB or whatever. You could see if someone was in in World Forty Five. That's oh, how people died. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so can I think they removed dying? that. At TOB and like the best gear. Just yeah, well, you don't take you, you, you don't take the best gear, right? You just a lot of people what? mule in World 45. <clears throat> it's normal because if swapping is allowed, automatically muling is also allowed, right? Because you can technically swap every single time you die and just get your gear back. So ba a lot of people mule. Everyone who plays World 45 mules. I don't, yeah. but I'm planning to eventually. Would, would you probably. recommend <clears throat> people joining into World 45 and trying it out? I think it's super fun to play because it's like it's different right like i don't know i personally find it quite exciting like if you get to escape someone in max it's kind of cool and obviously you never know when you can get attacked i really like it actually at first i was like i didn't quite know how i feel about it but now i i really like uh, world 45 so 
It's kind of I nice. had this idea where they take away World 45, <clears throat> but they bring... <clears throat> got something in my throat, man. They bring open a server that resets every, like, two weeks, but the players choose the rules. And it's just like a mini dead man mode server. So say, like, oh, you start with every quest unlocked. It's just a PK montage. Or maybe it's super hard this week. Or maybe you can only use, like, range and melee, so there's no mage. Yeah, it's dumb shit. I see where you're coming from, right? But I honestly, I don't feel like a lot of people would play that. I would understand if they did something like that with LMS, for example. That'd be like, fun, too. Yeah, yeah, just, like, have different LMS games or whatever. Like, you can do so much with LMS. LMS has so much potential that is just not discovered yet. You can literally do anything you want with it. You can do pures only, you can do Zerks, you can do only mage range, you can do literally everything on I LMS. I want to see... Um... F2P uh, Oh no, that's so <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we oh, go F2P. So <laughs> I want to do it in actual F2P, but they don't have prayer pots, so I mean, I mean yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sucks actually, but I don't know. I guess you need to do it next to an altar or something then. That'd be so dumb. Well, yeah, wait, you, you breathe just... in the <laughs> wheel the altar. Isn't LMS Unlimited Prayer? Could they, they could just keep that. Yeah, yeah, but if, yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying, but you can't do it outside of LMS, so. Yeah. That would be a really that would be a really fun idea. They should actually do that for free to play. I mean, you get a loot box and AGS. I think there is LMS is in free to play and will be in free to play. But yeah, really? Yeah. No, no, it's it's not going to be F two P though. It's just <clears> you can use it will be just that. the rewards are going to be Dude, shit. I think they, they the, could use that as like sorry, sorry. They could use that as a really good gateway to get people to members. Imagine if there actually was yeah. a loot box and you'd get a members item from it. And it's like, but it would just be one, like you could get like a dragon dagger, for example, which is 10 times better than like a rune two hander. Do you know what I mean? Like, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, I think LMS has a lot of potential. They just need to be like, they just need to explore it, I guess. Yeah. And put no. decent rewards in it. But I think we're talking about later, about that later. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, 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 dude. I, I can't wait to talk about that, man. It's yeah, be interesting. same. I, Mika, I've not watched your newest video, but I noticed the thumbnail is you barraging dust devils and right. probes with okay, an okay. So, the war stats. I'm actually... assuming it's not going very well. <laughs> dude, dude, I'm like, okay, hear me out, right? Before that, I got 77 prayer. So I used all my money to get that done. And then I have full Gothans in the deposit box and I have a cannon in the deposit box. So my whole bank is just a bunch of runes, a couple of insult heads, uh, some runars, stuff like that. Maybe like my whole bank is like 500k. So I don't actually mind losing it. And then I just take like basically water staff and monk robes and i just go and barrage tasks because yeah. i want to get 94 magic it's so i don't mind dying it, so, it was amazing xp yeah with the four guffins and everything you have like how have you acquired the money on dead man mode world 45 like i'm assuming you haven't got full guffins from barrys you've like traded stuff no, no, no. For it. yeah, yeah i just, I just bought it. so every piece was like <laughs> i think it was about 800k ish so it's quite okay price i guess and at the start i did a lot of um a lot of like uh what are they called the guys that drop herbs, I fucking forgot. Uh, Chaos, like Chaos dudes. <laughs> yeah, th those guys. Chaos so, monks. <laughs> actually, herbs in Deadman mode are worth so much more than on 07. Like, one Renard is like 15k. So, oh. you can get, like, money really, really fast. And you have looting bag, so you can put everything in looting bag. So, you can, like, looting bag works everywhere. So, I got my initial money through that. And then, obviously, Slayer. Like, I got a, for example, Abyssal Whip drop is, like, 3 mil. That's instantly full Gothans. And I'm obviously 91 Slayer already, so I got that. And then Gargoyles are my main income. Like, Gargoyles are amazing as well. Because, for it example... Does take, like, a long time to sell, though? Like, how no, would you sell No, 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 you whip? actually... No? You, you just whip... Like, big ticket items sell instantly. And, for example, I don't know, Gargoyles have so many alkable drops, and then you can sell, sell, like, steel bars on top of that, and then steel bars go for a lot more because of cannonballs. So you actually make, like, a lot of money from Gargoyle tasks. Like, one Gargoyle task on, on Deadman mode is, like, one mil almost every time. And that's like three mil oh seven, pretty much. So it's really good, actually. <clears throat> okay. It's really, really good, yeah. Dude, that that could actually be a very successful like video series if exactly. you exactly yeah see how much. I I have thought of that in the past, but I just couldn't be bothered to go into World Forty Five. But you're pretty much there now, so you yeah, should definitely explore that. Yeah, I'm definitely working on it as well right now. So yeah. Hell yeah, man. It's I, I'm pretty <clears throat> excited for it as well. So can't wait. Awesome. So should we jump into the brand new PvP blog, which I don't think many of us have actually uh, looked at. I've not seen it. <laughs> I've, I've glimpsed I've seen at it. it. I've glimpsed at I it. I do know, and I'm super excited about this, that Entangle will be hitting through Mage Fair now. That's it. That's all I That's know. good. I'm happy with that. Right. Exciting. 
Bring All it right. up, dude. Which link is it? it? Last man standing. <laughs> right. oh. like, do you guys want to see the PvP one? I don't know. Yo, so which <laughs> link is it? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it should be the one. first one All that right. I linked. Okay, boys. Or maybe the yep, second this one? one. That's the LMS one. Sorry. Uh, okay, the second, second one? one. All right. Yeah. Best podcast ever. All right. Hey, man. It's a little bit of a, you know, partner work. Work in progress. That up to you. Wait, so Ameri see. you Americans, you say progress, right? No, we say progress. Because yeah. <laughs> we say progress. I, yeah, I don't progress. know why I said. Yeah, progress. I mean, I progress, progress, is progress is good progress. too. Progress sounds cool too, bro. It's pokey. All right, let's get it. Progress. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making fun of our accents, Rakesy. Right? It's not very nice, man. All right. Well, who's uh, the one that says milk? <laughs> hey, what? The I don't even drink milk. Okay, I don't get that. Okay. Uh, all right, yo, you you take you take it off, boys. Speak cares over here. Let's all right, go. I'm down. I'm down to read. So the bounty hunter rework, is this all okay? So the bounty hunter rework, PvP integration changes, and then uh, that's about it. But there's a ton to go over. They have the point system, player hunter, BH store, mystery, mysterious emblems are getting reworked, BH interface is getting reworked, uh, and bounty essence. So do you want me to read the top part as well? I think you should oh, read my. what you feel is the most <clears throat> important. Okay, well, you're talking to a guy who didn't, who skimmed oh, didn't, the shit okay, out of this. Okay, you skimmed so it? Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I was going to get Shay for this, it. but she had to, uh, she had Dude, complications I, with I, family. I think we should read each segment. We can okay. take turns reading if you want. All right, all right. Okay. Here you go. Well, first, let me read the top here. Each of these aspects are designed with three aims in mind. To make the minigame more rewarding, more exciting to play, and more attractive to both experienced PKers and beginning to PvP. Uh, so that's why they updated all of this. I guess the first thing is the point system. They're reworking literally everything about the hunter. So you're gonna get points per kill. So scroll down a little bit, my man. Um, <clears throat> so like? I skimmed this as well, and I saw them talking about it on Twitter. A player who kills their BH target receives one point. A player on a kill streak of three receives double points, uh, and a player on a kill streak of ten receives triple points. A kill streak ends when you're Kill by any player, log out, or skip a target. Oh, that's, I that like up. that. That's cool. I don't like the log out thing because that just right. like that, I think the log out thing is a bit dumb. Maybe it should be like resets after every day or something like that. Like you know how RuneScape has their own clock or whatever, mm -hmm. so it resets with each day or maybe. every hour. But yeah. yeah, but every log out, like think about it. You just want to log in PK, but then you don't want to log out. Like I don't know. I, keep, I don't keep like keep the log out thing. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the, the logout part. Everything else makes sense, though. But if you really look at this from, like, you know, an average player's point of view, there are, and even just, like, really good PKers, everybody dies. So I, I'd yeah. say, like, a very experienced, very confident PKer would easily get to a 10 kill streak and be on triple points. But yeah. eventually, I'd like, you know, for them to get, like, 50 kills without one death is quite unrealistic. So... I, I don't really see that as too much of an issue, to be honest. I don't know, right? See, because BHPKing, it's pretty easy to live if you want to. And I see people playing it super safe. So if there was okay. a logout feature, I'm sure, you know, you could cheese your way to 50 kills, you know. Pretty pretty easily, to be honest. So I mean, the people out log out because they want to skip the target that they, they're getting? Well, okay, well, there you go. That That's probably a reason why they've done it. Because if you wanted to... Like, do you know you get the um the tier farming emblem accounts, the bots and that? Mm. You could effectively mm -hmm. just keep logging out until you get your target, which is one of your other accounts, and just be on triple points the entire time. So that's probably Rick, why they've done know... it. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. yeah. Did you know they fixed the um, emblem farming problem? No, I didn't. How did they do that? Uh, they gave it so that you could only log on to BH Worlds if you had, like, uh, 30 hours played and 300 total level. Oh, well, okay. and that, and that, that actually that, stopped that, it? Stopped that's them, like yeah, nothing. Yeah, because, because it's like uh, they only had two-day membership, you know? Yeah. Oh, they were using the RuneScape mobile free I C. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I got you. So that was a pretty smart idea on their point. Um, so what's the issue with the logout then, necessarily? I don't know. It just, I mean, it's just a bunch of people making PvP updates that, you know, probably are new to making PvP updates that are... You know, going to help the wilderness, so they're just trying their best. I'd imagine. I have no well, idea. I mean, we just established though that if you were able to log out and keep your um, triple points or kill streak, then you could effectively just keep logging out and then killing you know yeah, the same person might be, it, over and over again. Pretty cheesy, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but there are some exceptions. 
uh, that would allow you to skip a target without losing your kill streak. Your target is located in a multi-combat area. You have been matched with your target for over 10 minutes. And I can hear an echo. Is that you, Mika? That could be me. Um, no, I think we're good. I don't hear anything. I hear a little bit of an echo, but that's fine. Uh, hold up. I'll uh, just lean back a little bit. Yeah, you better. <laughs> <laughs> your target does not have a mysterious emblem or a higher tier as you in your inventory. Wait. So if you have a tier 10, you could just skip the shit out of everybody? Or how's that work? Or am I reading well, that wrong? Uh, I think you're reading that right, actually. No, a higher <laughs> tier. Higher tier than what you... Uh, I. It says there'll be more on it later, so I'm, just, I'm sure that they'll go into it. Yeah. The way they word things, you could read them differently right. so easily. So the you first one's I mean? simple. If they don't have an emblem, you can um, skip it. If they have yeah. a yeah. higher tier uh, than yours in their inventory, you can skip them. More later on. No. Complicated. The I, same I or higher be, tier. That's what it says. I think it would probably make more sense if it was the other way around. So if you had a higher yeah. tier than somebody, you could skip them yeah, without yeah. the penalty of losing your streak. Why but this you, is... Yeah. Dude, this is awesome. Target kill and bonus points. For 10, 10th kill, you get 25 bonus points. 50, 50 points. 175, 250, 100, and 1,000. Imagine going on a 1,000 kill streak without one death, you get 150. I think is that's that... not kill streak, though. No, that's, that's not. Uh, just, oh. uh, just, just, just kills, man. Oh, yeah, imagine if. Right, dude, right, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> imagine if that was a. F but that, I was going to say 150 for a 1,000 kill streak? That doesn't seem fair. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I got you. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sweet series, dude. Road to 1,000 yeah, deathless that's kills. That's exactly what I was thinking, man. Holy uh, shit. Hmm. So these points are going to be used into a new bounty hunter store. I don't know if they're getting rid of the old store or... Yeah, I think they're... Maybe not, actually. They might be. I heard they were making it so that you turn emblems into it's... cash. Maybe it's mentioned. It store. Maybe it mentioned it's a little bit down the BH store. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll go to player bounties then. Let's yeah. See what that is. So this looks quite cool. Um, I remember there was like a suggestion for this. I don't know if it was Reddit or Twitter, but they were basically saying if you made the uh, bounty hunter hunter it gave almost like a Slayer task kind of fill, where it could be like go into the wilderness and kill somebody with like a dragon mace or something like that. And I think they've kind of followed that in this slightly because it says here get two kills without leaving the wilderness crossing the ditch trading or picking up items from the grounds uh kill an opponent using range medium magic on the last hit kill an opponent a, an opponent with risk who's risking 250 gp uh kill an opponent dude i can't fucking say it opponent <laughs> opponent without using any prayers kill an opponent without using a special attack Without using protect, I, some um, of those are gonna be hard. I'm about any stat boost, like that's really cool, and you get bonus points for doing those. I like that. Does it have but to be I, your target, or can I just go to Green yeah. Dragons kill bots? Um, uh, if so, we're making bank. <laughs> doesn't say. I do not know. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good. It's question, just a, it's yeah. just a task. It might not. It, I hope that it's not just your target because that would actually give people incentive to be rogues in BH. I like that. Right. It's just giving me so many ideas in my head right now that I can't even, like, organize. You know what I mean? I can't organize what I want to do when this comes out. It's just so much shit. This is this is really hopeful, man. Like, it's clear reading this that Jagex have been paying attention to what the community's been saying. Because, like I said, like I've seen that suggested. I, I can't remember where or when, but I swear somebody was saying like, give it like a Slayer task kind of feel to BH. Yeah. And it's not. It's Some nice variety. that they've actually they came up with a couple of ideas there. I like that. I, I, I think it's really good they're updating BH, but people say they're going to revive the wilderness. I don't see they BH as the bounty heart. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it being the heart of PvP, though. Do you guys see Bounty Hunter being the heart of PvP? I, I think don't. Bounty Hunter is Bounty Hunter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're not... It's not like once you do it, you're going to go out in the wildy and just kill random people. <laughs> I think it's, it's definitely one of the more active PvP... Uh, yeah. things that we have in game because like if you go to the bounty hunter world it's not like you're going to struggle to find people to fight and that's mm -hmm. like a really weird combat bracket do you know what i mean like, there's always yeah. pe people go <clears throat> nobody goes to whatever world the bh world is i think it's like 18 i don't know if it swaps like to go and do a cerberus task because that yeah. shit's laggy as fuck do you know what i mean people go there to do one thing and that's fight in the wilderness. so but what i'm saying rexy is like when you want to go pk do you go to bounty hunter world 
Hell no, it's bored as fuck, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's all I wanted to hear. Does anyone go to a bounty hunter world PK? I, I sometimes go in deep building because you find some some decent yeah, refines. Yeah. Some it actually has like, you ha you have that uh, what is it PJ timer thingy. So it's like mm. when I That's go deep building nice and thing. I want to risk a little bit more, then I would only do it all like right. uh, BH actually, world in deep building pretty much. I have a question for the boys here. All right, so you know how like bounty hunter is uh, limited to like one world or or is it two? Is it one, right? Oh, it's one, one and it rotates. Right and then okay. two weeks you can so you know how, like, it. majority of the fight that goes on is just around Edgeville, around the border? Because, yeah. like, you know, sometimes you guys, the more adventurous boys, you might go out far and, and try to go for some kills or whatever there. But, like, what is really the incentive for people to really go out that far? You know what I'm saying? Not, not many people uh, do it, right? Not many people do that. Adventure. I mean, <laughs> like, the reason isn't... You can set it traps cool? almost. Wouldn't it be cool if you could promote it so that like people could just go all over the wilderness and do this stuff in that world? I mean, one of the things is that the I think the wildy bosses drop more emblems, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, trying yeah. to do yeah, it. Like, they they tried guys. with that, but I don't think but it didn't do anything. that really, specific. yeah. It's only anything. one world. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah it's know. like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it, it could be more fun if it was more spread out throughout the wilderness rather than just all concentrated in one place. But I guess because there's not enough people theoretically to spread out to actually find fights on time. I mean, if you want to talk about that, the only reason that Edgeville is the most active place in a BH world is because it's the place which has a bank closest to the ditch. Mm -hmm. If they were to put like, do you know, if they were to put like a, a bank crate, like near Morty in Baroque or like wherever along the ditch, I think that it would be a more even playing field and you'd find more people everywhere. But it's because it's single combat there, and it's close to the bank. Like that's the and only. It's close reason. to a safe zone. As yeah. Well. Uh, so, yeah. so, so the question I'm asking is, would it be more fun if there was a if if the bounty hunter promoted um, people to just kind of go all over the wilderness? And so in that case, probably the only yeah. way to do it is if there would be banks across the wilderness, pretty much. Yeah, in that There's specific yeah, world. In, in that stuff, you know? for that specific right. world, though, for that specific. Right. World. <laughs> Literally, what, what, like, huh. boys, I'm gonna take you on a. A leap back in time. Oh, I don't know if any of you guys I'm remember. Let's go. Right. What's it smell so, like? I got my seat story. Belt. Right. I got I, seat it, belt. It, this answers the question you just asked for. You just said, yeah, do you it. think the bounty hunter would be better if it wasn't just in Edgeville, right? And it was more all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. So after Bounty Hunter, the original Bounty Hunter was first introduced into the game. And I'm talking about the crater. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, low, the, creators, the mid, yeah. the high. When mm -hmm. they scrapped that, they didn't actually get rid of the craters they just made it literally like one big crater in the wilderness oh uh, yeah I and I, I i'm pretty sure after that they bring out the pvp ep system right mm -hmm. and that was fucking amazing because oh my god i spent so much time you would tell you to bounty hunter with i think it was a games necklace it was safe there there was a bank there and then you could either walk down the steps which is uh where graveyard is right now yeah I and just that. around the just around the corner there was a bit of more and we used to lure kids into that more all the time <laughs> There used to be, you know, Rune Fighters, DHers, hybrids uh -huh. there. And then you could also go inside of the old Bounty Hunter crater, just inside the Bounty Hunter crater, and you could fight people. And it was honestly awesome. It gave so much variety because you didn't have to be in one place. So I do agree. I think that if it was more spread out in the Bounty Hunter world and they gave you options of where to fight, then it could certainly be, yeah, it could be a lot better and a lot more fun. Even if they made it like on death, you could you could choose like I don't know, like a respawn point. Like if you wanted to respawn, I don't know, like say Mage Bank for example, or something like that, where they yeah. like put specific locations in the Bounty Hunter worlds where you could respawn and there's a bank there. God, that would make Bounty Hunter so much more exciting. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I was asking because it's like you just put everyone in Edgeville and then you just look for them in Edgeville and you just fight them. <laughs> yeah, and it gets a bit tedious and boring. Like you don't want to be in Edgeville all the time. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, the yeah, EHP man. back in the day though, they would sit in random parts and wait for that to build up. Then what needs to happen in uh, this bounty hunter world for that to even remotely be fun is uh, maybe just an area where people can feast off. PVMers trying to make bank, right? Like it has to be a big enough patch and somewhere where they can make enough money to where it would bring in well, PKers solo. It's gotta be good, right? The incentive yeah, gotta, gotta, be gotta, be gotta be good. And they, the longer they're there, the more they make, right? It should, it should scale, but yeah, to the point where you don't want to stay forever, and you can come attack yeah. people there or attack. I don't know what it would be. It's just, I mean, yeah, yeah and, and like the fact MMO? that you limit it to one world will make it hopefully competitive enough yeah. that people can't just like abuse it. Because like I think the problem was. 
the what you had before in the past was people were obviously abusing the um the whatever HP. the ep yeah, the ep mechanic EP. <laughs> you bring 76k i think it was 76k or whatever <clears throat> you just chill yeah, somewhere yeah. and then you kill the dude and you get like a fucking dragon fire shield you know like so there was yeah, there were some no. problems with with the what the way the, they did that reward the the biggest problem and i remember like i listened very carefully to what jagex had to say because the the biggest problem with the ep system was that it was bringing way too much money into the game and that oh, the, yeah. the money that was coming into the game was effectively coming out of nowhere yeah and obviously more money was coming into the game that was leaving the game so it's been like an issue for a long time runescape free like you know everything stupidly inflated the money and stuff it's worth yeah like i mean old old school's already getting there to be honest because the, yeah, the yeah, amount of people farming rune dragons and shit i got a sweet solid idea let's go, okay let's go. all right instead of green dragons on a bh world it's revenants with double the drop rate all right it's singles <laughs> But you oh, have to have okay. a rev brace, okay? But uh, say instead of t you can't teleport out of there, right? You have to run a little bit down. So they they bring it up maybe towards just Venonatus make it just so a you bit. can't TP. <laughs> so you can't teleport instantly, okay? And then you have a hunting ground for single PKers. There's a multi line because everyone loves their own little multi line. There's people farming bank, right? They're making two three mil an hour, but they have to have a bracelet. It has to be risky. It's only one world. It's gonna be sick yeah, right. yeah. dude ima imagine if it. they just mixed it up and they were just like okay we're gonna actually switch single and multi in the wildy for just oh, this bh rock cool. <laughs> then like but people kids would be so pissed because they yeah, run to nah, edgeville nah. and like bandos yeah. or something you yeah. would get baited yeah, nah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but like wouldn't that be cool man that would like spice it up for sure <laughs> you want to deep yeah. into edgeville and you get to wait the, my the, idea the kind of saying like idea people. let's just fuck shit up you know <laughs> yeah 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 i feel like <laughs> but I mean, we're just talking out of ass, like you know. Like I guess a lot of people my might ideas prefer. My heart. I think I think a lot of people will will prefer just having Ezreal being the spot, but but I don't know if you make it more like across the wilderness and you give in good incentives for people to be in certain parts of the wilderness, and uh, may, like maybe the banking elements. I don't know because you said there's only one bank right in Nashville, and there's like no good yeah. banks anywhere in the wilderness. Maybe install a few banks in some of the spots you know that strategically makes sense for people to be there and like you know utilize so it would have to be it would have to be like next to either teleport spots or a respawn point yeah i, Else I don't it know just wouldn't make just sense. a thought just a thought just a thought or, yeah, yeah. yeah or it could even like just add it on to what mika just said it could be like maybe not well yeah maybe there's like two or three no say all right they keep the respawn points that we have right now edgeville lumbridge and falador right and camelot but next to those points there's a bank at each of those points like right there like in the pvp world and there are also now this is a little bit like you know i'm thinking ahead a little bit here but there's also like teleport portals that can take you to specific places in the world that as soon as you banked got your gear you can jump into that what do you guys think of that yeah so I server out. like um, but it, yeah i don't know I mean, why I I guess it would work. Out, it would work. like it would probably work yeah, yeah. So and again, what... is the actual problem of Bounty Hunter the fact that you can't find fights? Or the fact I... that you all the fights are in Edgeville? Yeah, exactly. That's Maybe the, we're that's not the really problem. focusing yeah. on the mm -hmm. problem the, right now. What's the real I problem? Mean, that's yeah. why the, I the, can't... The problem, I the problem we're talking about is I think regardless of what they do to Bounty Hunter, I'm probably not going to do it simply because I am fucking sick of the sight of Edgeville. So uh, what I'm saying is yeah. if, when, okay. if when you die and you respawn in one of the four places... Next to each place, there's a bank chest. Just like in a PvP world, like in Camelot in a PvP world, you can go straight to the bank if you tell you the cami. And then what you can do from there is right next to the bank, there are also portals. And these portals could take you to like, you know, Edgeville, for example, and then different various places across the wilderness, whether it be East Dragons, West Dragons, Graveyard, Mage Bank, etc. And then you can go to that place and you're going to be assigned a target which is somewhere close to that. Like well, for me really personally... Badass. Yeah, for me, that would change Bounty Hunter altogether because I'm just sick of the sight of Edgeville. Like, I don't go to BH because I'm yeah. bored of Edgeville. I've been there too much. So I'm a bit disconnected from the Bounty Hunter issue. Like, I'm not going to lie. But, like, so, I mean, you know, you don't like the fact that every fight's in the same place. What is, like, the overwhelming BH community's problem? Is it is it because it's stale? Or is it because, you know, well, you just right, find the one thing place? Is, man, right? When I asked Rakesy, you know, if he would PK at BH, like if he wants to PK, he said, no, it's boring, right? Yeah. Well, if we somebody know he would, like were to upload a bounty hunter video, would you watch it? I mean, do you really want to watch someone do a solo fight in Edgeville? Ten times uh, in a row? It depends on who it like, is, you know, it has to be repetitive <laughs> gear. 
uh, Venge combos. Um, <laughs> if it was Bodhi, I mean? one man army, I'd watch it. <laughs> that, well, that was a couple years ago, right? Yeah. But I feel like the hype. No, nah, I wouldn't watch it anymore. <laughs> You know the lights kind of more on. Uh, yeah, so so we all risk. we all kind of agree that it's better if we if we could spread out the yeah. fighting, right? Yeah, I, I, I think so. It sounds more enticing for sure. Like yeah, just being in Ezreal all the time is kind of boring. All right, let's have a look at the store. What are they going to change about the store, dude? This is like yeah. the important thing because although it might still be in Edgeville, if this is appealing enough, it might actually bring a few people in. All right, Mika, take it away. Oh man, I have to read. Goddamn. Okay, uh, the existing <laughs> you just dish. Put a bowl of soup down. Yeah, man, what are you eating, dude? I thought yeah, you were being me? quiet. That was I'm me. eating some food. I'm eating some food. That that was, uh, dude, don't I'm eating some food. Right, right. Are, you, are you eating those chicken feet, Ray? No, I'm eating porridge, <laughs> mate. <laughs> the timing on that. Yeah, ch perfect. chicken feet for restaurants, bro. We don't eat in, in home. Oh, that's, that's the fancy shit, man. I like it. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So the existing BH shop faces uh, numerous of issues. Players <laughs> are not more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you don't make fucking RuneScape update videos. Dude, what do you mean, man? Faces a number of issues. <laughs> I would still get whatever. First sentence, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> first sentence, man. Oh my Dude, god. All right, okay. we can pull it together, man. Come on, let's get all right, it. All right, players are not motivated to buy supplies from the shop because it's more. <laughs> it's more local. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like that's the doesn't like when you laugh, bro. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's more profitable to buy the items which give the best GP value per BH point. This makes the majority of the shop redundant and unexciting. We promise a new shop that sells crates containing supplies and the chance for you to lose. What's well, so funny about this sentence? <laughs> and, <laughs> I think anyways. he's just—he's having flashbacks when he was in the classroom, having to read out of a book. All right. Right, anyways, this shop would also sell cosmetics <laughs> rewards and new supplies. The potions earned—I mean, the points earned from the points. What are you even reading, dude? I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> and player <laughs> All right. Okay. Like, get it. Bro. We get it. They're, they're changing right, the bounty. Anyways, the point, the right. points are, <laughs> they're changing the bounty store. There you go. Okay, perfect. Oh, Alright, so bounty hunter crying. crates. This is where players will make the most profit in the new system. These crates aim to serve a consistent GP income and have a chance to offer big rewards. <laughs> I can't read. I can't, you can't read her shit, bro. <laughs> you can't I can't read. think you seriously. I'm laughing. Okay. Alright, anyways. At the cost of five points in the shop, they would contain supplies and loot worth of 100k on average. So they would also roll once on a unique loot table, which would contain one of the following items. So one of the items would be an upgrade to the Sarah Sword. So this would make the special attack be 60% and it would deal magic damage. So budget Korasi, I think, right? Yeah. Um, all ancient warrior weapons. So, ooh, that's <laughs> actually kind of cool. So that's like Statues, Warhammer, um, Vesta, Longsword. <laughs> Azuriel staff, I would assume. Um, this would uh, work in PvP only, and the Vesta Longsword would have a special attack casting, costing 50%, which is good because 25 is broken. I know, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. And then an Abyssal da Dagger. Way. Abyssal Dagger would get an upgrade, so it would be a 25% uh, spec, and the accuracy would be increased because right now Dagger is pretty shit. To use Let's go. It's, Abyssal worse, it's dagger. worse than just a dragon. Yeah, dagger, yeah, it's oh, worse. yeah. That's why they're buffing it, so that's good. Finally. Mysterious Emblem, so this would include all tiers. Okay, and then Corrupt. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Is that Corrupt Dragon Weaponry? So Battle Axe, Dagger, Longsword, Mace, and Scimitar. Ooh, this new would build. require a level 20 attack and have the same stats as equivalent dragon weapons. So obviously, Wait, yeah, that's what the basically fuck? a new build. New yeah. build. Well, um, they, they had those, that they were free to play back Yeah, yeah. So yeah. once equipped, they will become untradeable and will begin degrading to dust, which takes about 30 minutes and uh, they would only work in PvP. So back in the day, you could use them everywhere, now only in PvP. And we're open to feedback on whether or not these should be equivalent special attacks. So I think in the past they had no spec, but yeah, Holy this can fuck, be adjusted. Dude, can you imagine an OB Mauler at 50 combat just going 40 40 Jeez. on you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> And then it, a Granite Mall upgrade. So this one would just make, I think, Granite Mall um, need an, an upgrade to have like a 50% spec, if I'm not wrong. Mika, so you they, they removed that already? Dude, dude. I way. literally cannot be serious when you start laughing. I don't know what it is. Dude, you laugh. Uh, you, you mispronounce okay, the words. You, dude, so okay. easily. Uh, all right, fine. All right, all right so fine. wait. The Granite Mall change is happening or it already happened? Because I don't it, think it's it happened. happened. It, it didn't happen yet. Okay. It will happen. Yeah, it will happen. Dude. 
Am I a little bitch, or do I think this bounty hunter crate idea... I mean, I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for loot boxes. It makes me want to do it. I just... I don't even know. It's so dumb. Everyone this... likes loot boxes. Yeah, this I mean... So, uh, loot price, boxes. Right? Think about and it this way. Yeah. The loot boxes yeah. actually have some pretty tangible, like, solid rewards, yeah. right? We got yeah. the PvP weapons, the 20 attack dragon weapons. See, I wish the PvP... I, I wish the PvP I weapons think... came from LMS. I think that yeah. would make LMS insane. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that's, that's really cool, man. Yeah. If they made this like Winter Todd and you could just stack up like a thousand loot boxes. By the way, this that, is literally. That would make a really good video. This is literally yeah. the Winter Todd crate. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, but that's like, just that'd like, be uh, interesting, man. Uh, really you know the that. the Laren's key, which also gets talked about. That's a new item that you get from Wilderness Slayer. I wish they did this with the keys, because this would be really, really cool. Instead of just going out and killing people, all the wilderness would be packed with slayers and hunters and that's kind of what you need for a pvp interaction you know both True. sides but it's all good i'm still excited about this i usually don't say you know vote however you want i am totally against pvp weapons though coming in a runescape yeah I, i'm, I'm enough, sort of enough. on the fence about this, uh, well, i wouldn't i wouldn't be too bothered if it did come into the game i think it's fine if the I, community like, wants it, I, go for it knowing from like deadman mode tournaments how disgusting vls is I don't want it in the game, but then they did nerf it for like 50% pretty much. So it's I wouldn't not a mind nerf, it. Bro. You can and... regular hit 55. Let's All right, yeah, know. okay, yeah. Fair <laughs> yeah. enough. But, uh, they're probably the price on them is going to be like, you know. I mean, it better be rare enough because if they make yeah. it too common, and <laughs> any, it don't matter how rare they shit. are, they're going to be popping out in a fallen clan day two. Yeah, bro. yeah, the clans <laughs> are going to have it for sure. They're going to, you know, put in their money I and mean... buy the shit. If they're yeah, only yeah, falling yeah, into I clan's agree. hands, then is it really a PvP update or is it a fucked update? You know what I mean? Nah, I, I mean, it would fall into from. everybody's hands, though, wouldn't it? I don't think it would benefit, like, specifically one group of people. But, yeah, with the VLS, I remember back in the day, like, the VLS, I think, like, the max hit I probably saw of it was maybe, like, a 78, maybe, yeah, and for, like, Vestas, for example. But there were four specs, and that's, like, yeah. you know, they can back to back yeah. it. The attack speed's insane. Two yeah. specs is okay, but the max hit, I'd be very curious to know what the max hit with it would be in old school if you were in max strength. I reckon it'd be like an well, 80. Well, the thing is, it doesn't work in PV, uh, outside of PvP, so what are the chances someone actually brings full strength in the in the wilderness? You know what I'm saying? Well, that's that's the thing. This is quite interesting because this might encourage it. Like, this might people actually already, encourage it. People already brid in max all the time. And I can only imagine that even if you're in max, if you're up close combat and you have a VLS, you win You'll that fight every them. time. <laughs> you, will, yeah. you will literally screw them over. <laughs> There's no way they can get back on their food track once you just 55, switch, 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 70, switch, 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 50 again, you know? And they're just like, oh, fuck. Yeah. They drop. Yeah, that's what I used in the last dungeon world. I just dumped VLS specs. Did you, and I, Mika, uh, did you win that one? Did you nah, win? I lost to manked. And yeah, I, was, uh, I mean, man, yeah, that guy, you know, he's quite the same. Again? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, again, every fucking time. No, I'm kidding. It's I'm just the kidding, first man. Time, I'm actually it's really... The first time, it's the first time I lost to him, actually. Uh, I'm actually really proud of how you're doing a dev mode, all right? I know. That's your only compliment. You do, you do great, all right? The, I don't know. That's, like, the one thing that I really no, like about the past show. Every, every yeah. tournament, I put on my Mika jacket, dude, on stream, <laughs> and I tell everyone, dude, my boy Mika's bringing it home, and then the last day, you let me down, but that's fine, dude. It's, <laughs> oh, okay. You know, All right, dude. But, All right, fair enough. Fair enough. I lost look, to a winner. You can't be sad with that. Come on. Hey, it's right. good shit, dude. Boys, we got a lot to get through, man. Let's, let's get True. on to it. So, the items. Okay. So, <clears throat> the bounty hunter hat. We would also like to add a new hat to the BH shop, which would be available for free. Would be cosmetic only and exe exists separately to the existing hunter's honor and rogue revenge, which I'm guessing are the hats that currently exist. The, the red hat shit. Yeah, the current hats only show whether you have more target kills or rogue kills. The new hat would change in appearance at given milestones, with six tiers upgrading at each of these target kills: ten, a hundred, five hundred, two thousand, and five thousand. Jeez. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Five thousand is like a lot of kills. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, if you as long as you can't bait yeah. it, you know, or cheat it. No, uh, well, even I if you could, dude, it, but... dude, people that do PvP all day or BH all day, like five thousand kills is a lot, man. Like, I reckon there's probably, I, I, to take a guess, I imagine there's, there has to be less than a thousand players in Runescape that have over five thousand kills currently in BH. Maybe way less. At a thousand, it might literally be a couple hundred. So, like, that would be Maybe. something which would be like really prestigious to have, you know, if you had that hat, which was effectively like, I literally live in this place. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. 
Is a hat gonna have like animations? I'm still waiting for like a you know something like a fire cape on on a hat. That'd be sweet. Well, like, they could make it oh. so you could attach like a halo to it, maybe. I'd... Something like that, perhaps. The more kills you have, the more it moves or something. That'd be sweet. Uh, the taller it gets. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. like Pinocchio's nose. And then man. you get a top hat, you know, by 5,000, dude. You know, just peek in and, and you see your render distance back, you see this tall ass line. And the... <laughs> you like zoom out and the thing is still like going, you're like, what the? <laughs> uh, Anyways. Sorry, Rick. Okay. Um, supplies. The shop would offer the following supplies a Omni Runes. These are untradeable runes that act as all elemental runes and are usable in PvP areas only. One point for 100 runes. Um, that's think... a great update. <laughs> Teleport <laughs> tablets. But I think you would need to get more runes for the <laughs> one point. 100 runes is like almost no runes if you think about it. Like, well, after you start getting those bonus mm. kills, dude, they're going to they're gonna become. Yeah, dude, fast. your, your yeah, points come in fast, man. I when you get 10 enough. kills, you get like bonus 25 points. Even if those runes were like so 25 500 points, each, that would be. It'd still be worth. 2,500. Yeah, 2,500. Which yeah, is pretty. Would you, would you spend the points on, on those expensive runes or would you spend them on the crates? That's going to be 100k that, each. That's, dude, that's, up, that's up to you, man. <laughs> man you can stop yeah, making yeah, reasonable yeah. points, okay? <laughs> You're only here for your laugh. Okay, fine. All right. Teleport tablets for teleport to bounty hunter targets spell these would require that spell has first been unlocked okay that's yeah okay i guess that saves you some inventory spots um cosmetic recolors wait for... hold on could you technically buy these omni rooms though in the ge no it says usable in pvp errors only untradeable. But yeah. yeah but you it says they're untradeable, untradeable. oh untradeable yeah. rip. i didn't see that. absolutely dumb absolutely dumb yeah. worst update why why would you f make it untradeable right, yeah, right? i feel well, like they should be tradable <laughs> Co cosmetic oh, no. recolors at 25 points each the magic short bow the spiked manacles also quickly what are spiked manacles are they for it's the, pure it's the glow the melee uh, boots yeah melee the boots, boots oh yeah 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 okay yeah i see wait so is it like an up it's an upgrade to the climbing boots right yes that's not different like that's different that's different they're that's like the... an extra strength bonus. they're stronger but they're oh, okay. not the same boots is yeah. it a new clue scroll reward is yeah that where yeah they come it's from? two strength bonus right? on mediums is it three or is it three or Two, I believe. Four. It's... I don't know. Actually, four. Right, it's because it's rune boots, right? Oh yeah, it's rune boots equivalent. So it's like. No, no, it's, it's cool. dragon boot equivalent. What? Four. Come on, bro. No, you no, don't PVP, dude. No, no. That yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Wait, you're telling me four pures strength. have boots now that are the same strength as dragon boots? Four strength. Yeah. Oh, that's a big deal. Yeah. Damn, dude. Fuck. I've seen a pure hit a 38, 38. Yeah, that's that's, that's an extra damage right there, dude. That's a flat damage. Dude, they're right they're gonna be hitting like 40, 40 soon with infernal K. Damn. I've actually, do you know what? My my pure man, it's like a max beautiful pure, dude. Huh. And I, I said to myself that I wouldn't play it until I forced myself to get an infernal cape. Uh -huh. And like, I don't know if any of you have attempted the um the infernal on a pure. Uh, but no, like, it's a lot harder. You gotta dude, play hard, every, dude. Man, every fucking wave after like wave two, huh. you can very easily die. Yeah. <laughs> like, like easily man um i think the highest i got to was like wave 33 and it took me ages and then i died to like the easier do you yeah, know you get the you ones which um, like hard dude do, do you know the one that you kill and it can range and mage you depending yeah, on what yeah. you're doing and then it turns yeah. into the free the like blogger. matt killed me on wave 30 after i did it for like god knows how long and i was just like i'm done i'm burnt hey, out wave 30 is pretty sick though on a pier let's, let's be real not bad right anyways this i really like so you can recolor for 25 points Magic short bow, spike mechanicals, uh, rune crossbow. Don't care about any of those. Ghostly robes. I was just that about to say that. That is fucking cool, man. I like Bro. that. Dude, and the that Elder could be robes. awesome. Oh, Elder robes. Elder chaos color robes. Would be beautiful. Fighter torso recolors. Oh uh, torso teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I will say this, dude. The next one. Not too fan of this private server shit. Special attack recolors. Yeah. Ah, AGS nah. special. <laughs> I, I personally, if that comes out in the poll, no, I'm voting no on that specifically. I don't like the sound of that, man. Are we gonna have like a, a rainbow AGS spec? What the fuck is this? Like, oh. a community, not, not however you want. All right, don't worry about no, it. No, yeah, uh, it, it'd be more interesting if they just recolored the god swords themselves instead. They kind of have a gilded kit though for every god sword, right? They do, they do. But it's like, I mean, you can have more than one, right? Because that they've done that before. Imagine range. you get high, go to Bounty Hunter, and then a guy AGSs you for it's a rainbow, rainbow. Stick. Like, What the fuck just happened? Just you log out and leave the game for a few days, man. Right. Like, I need to take a rest, dude. <laughs> so it's saying that the rune pouch would remain in the shop for 250 points, which I believe it. How much is a rune pouch? It's 1,250. Or yeah. is it more? Okay, so they're, they're, you, you dude, it, they're reducing it. 
no, no, yeah, no, but no, 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 it's a different, it's a different point system. Yeah, yeah, there, it's like three hundred k or something, right? It seems a lot oh, harder okay. to get, actually, right? It is. Yeah, because you actually have to PK for it. You have to PK for it. That's really can, cool. Well, you but can you can also get it from Slayer, Slayer, though. Yeah, no. But Slayer's it's really yeah. expensive in Slayer, too, though. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's cool. Uh, a teleport to target spell, 250 points. That's fine. Along with this shop, a new Bounty Hunter NPC could be added. The Emblem Trader is only interested in Mysterious Emblems, after all. This new PC would host the shop, as well as explain the rules of Bounty Hunter. It could also provide stats, such as your number of kills. Uh, this is mentioned there in the BH interface section. If having two NPCs, the Emblem Trader, the new one, would be confusing. The Emblem Trader's duties could be handed over to the new NPC. Let us know what you think of this idea. That's just like, sounds like a fucking mindfuck right there. Boy, so. we're bringing back Big Mo, dude. Let's start the movement. Hashtag bring back Big Mo. Oh, That's what I'm talking wait. about. Right. We got so much to get through, man. All right, crack on to the next one. The Mysterious Emblems. True. Okay. Who do you want? Bryce, you want to cover this? Uh okay, so I'm just gonna read it verbatim, alright? So it points when the new system are used to buy from the shop. Where does this leave mysterious emblems? The current emblem system faces two major issues. First, it's not profitable for players. Second, the system is boostable. To prevent boosting with alternate accounts, mysterious emblems must produce zero nego. However, they must produce a profit for individual bounty hunters who wish to use them. This is our proposed solution. So, the first step is to ensure Mysterious Emblem only come from Bounty Hunter. This means making all tiers untradeable and moving them from the Wilderness Slayer loot table. New Emblems would no longer be generated by killing your target. You would still receive upgrades to your existing Emblems. Um, okay. For those of you concerned about reducing profitability of Wilderness speak, uh, Slayer, we can increase the loot uh, awarded from Laren's Keys. Feel free to suggest how much. This should be changed by if it feels it needs yep. increasing. That's a good. I hope they just. I hope they just copy the loot box, you know, in just like a rarer format. That'd so, be nice for me. Where would emblems come from? Emblems would be bought and sold to and from the emblem trader. In a new system, a player wants to accept the extra risk for purchase emblem from the trader, upgrade it by killing a new target, and sell it back to the trader for a profit. Um, below is proposed table for price of each emblem tier. All right, tier one, you buy for seventy five k from the NPC, and then if you get tier two, then you uh, get a hundred percent back. Tier three, you get even more, another uh, two hundred percent, and and it just doubles, all the way to tier I five. That it's not gonna bring any gold into the game, but it's bringing gold into well, the game. Well, no, but the thing is, is that they're they're saying if to to get a first initial emblem, you have to fork in seventy five k. And if you want to make money, uh, an investment out of it, you would have to upgrade that. All the way, but to then it turns into more GP. Yeah, right? then it turns into more GP they're, because okay, they're, they're so saying they just don't want people to boost for the emblems. I feel that. So, I so feel, that way it kind of um, gets rid of that in a way. Are emblems still going to be tradable between people? No, well? I think they said not tradable. No, they're untradable. Well, let's keep reading. Yeah. Keep going, dude. Let's go. Okay. Down. Yeah. To be eligible for emblem upgrade, you need kill target with an emblem of the same or higher tier kill. So then would upgrade your emblem while theirs is lost. In this way, the emblem system would generate zero net gold, removing the potential profits for emblem farmers while being profitable for solo PKers. Uh, here's an example. Two players buy a tier one emblem from the trader for 75k each. They receive each other as targets and player A kills player B. Player A's emblem upgrades to tier two and player B's emblem is lost. Player A's emblem is now worth 150k and they can sell to the emblem trader for a profit of 75 Alternatively, they could risk their tier two emblem for a shot of doubling its value again. So makes sense, you know. Pretty. Uh, I mean, what if far. you kill a guy for a tier ten and you don't get it anymore? You don't get it. Yeah. No, you just, just get your your thing just upgrades. Okay, I got it. Then. Yeah. All right. The purpose of you emblems in tier the... eleven. <laughs> I, I, I think they're they're also nerfing the tiers because there's only up to five. Right now. Oh. oh, what the fuck? I don't I know. Like Did they say tier it? tens on my account? What's gonna? Oh wait, no, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they're keeping tier ten. But it's just like you see this graph; yeah. it only goes up to five. So oh, we'll it says see. tier tens for two million coins. Where is that? Which would make sense because it's it's the what's that black, dark and black. Dude, oh, okay. there, there, yeah. there's literally like in this uh, post here. It says uh, uh, like here, here it is. In this grace period, out. players will be able to sell their tier tens to for two million. Oh, okay. So they they are capping at five in the future. It's just if you have tier tens, you need to sell that shit. If it, if this passes, uh, okay. Jesus Christ, that's yeah. crazy. Okay. Purpose of emblems: This system allows players to choose their level of risk while playing bounty hunter. 
and the uh, match with players with similar risk, you'll be able to freely skip who don't have Mysterious Emblems of the same or higher tier without affecting your kill streak. This means you have the option to fight targets with lower risk but are not forced to. To ensure finding a target with a chance to upgrade your emblem are not too rare, the total number of tiers would be reduced to 5. Yeah, there you go. In summary, Mysterious Emblems would be used by players looking for additional chances to earn gold while playing BH. Successful BH player would match with others carrying emblems, gain upgrades, and cash in their profit at the emblem chain in addition. Earning rewards via crates from the shop. So it, it's going to rely heavily on the whole crate because I feel like the emblems are barely, a, you know, going to be like a big bonus. I feel like the crates is probably going to be the thing you want to bank on. The so emblems... let, me, let me summarize everything you say because I think that's at the end of it, right? That's pretty much everything I'd imagine mm -hmm. about emblems. So emblems coming into the game aren't going to be tradable anymore. They're only going to go up to tier fives, which you trade into the emblem guy for pure cash. Uh, if you PK someone for an emblem, you only get an upgrade. You don't get their emblem. And, yeah, you double uh, your value. Are going to be turned into two mil gold. So yeah, they're changing the whole game pretty much. They're changing the, the bounty hunter quite a lot. <laughs> the, the only thing that really concerns me about this is obviously they're trying to counter like the bots and people that are farming emblems, right? But they've also implemented an update here, which is the point system where you can buy crates. So why do they think that that's not going to be abused? Because um, it will be, and there will be a way to abuse it. I think you have to be a certain combat level to start earning points. So they're not going to let low levels do that shit. Um, well, no, because they haven't. They haven't said that, dude. We've yeah, they the haven't. No, yeah. I'm. Yeah, yeah. It says you can't go and like it's like a thirty combat or something. You can't get points. I think didn't we read that in another update? I don't know. I I, I thought oh, that I, was just for uh, the emblems, right? Yeah, let's just stick to what we know, but that's quite curious okay. because it's like they've removed something which is easily abusable and yet they're replacing it with something which I imagine will also be abused. So, although, mm, well, yeah, I think it still would be abused. Well, the thing with the um, the the bounty hunter crates is that they don't produce aux the way that the current system does. They produce new items. Yeah, it just so. produces new items. So, yeah, but those items have value. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like they you don't get a best of long sword. But they items. don't generate like GP. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, what what happens if if you know the people farm it, they just buy like uh, dragon battle axes, right? And that is straight out. That like you don't need to sell them to anybody. You just out it and you get the money. So yeah, you can't no, really I, do I, that. I understand with that. that. I I understand that. I understand how that works. I'm just yeah. saying that. I feel like this point system could very easily be abused in the same way that the emblem farmers have been abusing that system for like since well, the beginning. Of well, well, you know how they prevented that, right? It's raising a certain total level, combat level. They would just but, do the same, right? But what I'm what I'm saying is this is BH improvements. They're making it way more appealing to do it. The fact that you can get a Vesta longsword from one of these crates could mean if that it passes. Actually, <laughs> yeah, Crazy. if it passes, this could be even more profitable to abuse. What what PvP update isn't abused at this point? You know what I mean? Like every well, update I, I, that comes yeah, up in the PvP okay. is that, Do you know what? I think I'm coming from like a really bad stance there because it's coming from like, well, we shouldn't put a new update into the game because no, it's well, get I don't abused. think but it's in reality, abused. It probably is going to, but it's going to benefit more people and be more fun. Yeah, so. I mean, like what Rev Caves the first five days they smited uh, with Maced seven bill right abuse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every update coming to the game, there's always some people abusing it, which well, sucks, like think about but, this you know, as long. Game. As long as they just stop people from uh, point farming, then <laughs> we're good. Stop people. <laughs> yeah, stop people from point uh, farming, right? The same way that they stop people from emblem farming, right? Just they implement even those stop things. someone from grinding BH rank. There was a guy named, like, was it Randy? And he's killing an account named Randy Jr., okay? like I think they stopped like, it now, but yeah. I mean, come on, bro. It's, 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 it's Randy Jr. You couldn't hide that shit, and, and he got uh, away from that. make it like, any more year. obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'll read the next part. Uh, the BH interface, as a part of the rework, we would like to improve the bounty hunter interface. It currently takes more space than it needs to be. And personally, I think the LMS uh, interface needs to be, you know, same update. Uh, the wealth indicator is not particularly helpful in determining just how your target is risking. We would like to remove this as well. A new interface would show the name of your target, whether or not they are carrying an emblem, whether or not you are quali you qualify for an emblem upgrade if you kill them and their location a button would be able to remind you what your current bounty task is so the new bounty task coming in is going to be on the new interface as well and it would have a timer showing the remaining time which is kind of nice because you never really know it just kind of pops up in the 
uh, the chat bar. This task section of the interface would be expandable via a button. Beautiful. All right. Other changes. Here's a list of smaller changes. Uh, a requirement of 30 combat. Yeah, you know, racing. Let's talk my ass, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, look, cool we now we know about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I, right up here, baby. Uh, a six minute cooldown after dying to your target, which prevents you from getting a kill, will be removed. Okay, thank God. Okay, I thought they were adding more time onto that if you died, but they're going to be removing the cooldown. That, that was always a big bummer. Uh, a 20 second period of immunity will be added to players you have just killed, uh, preventing them from being attacked. So, pretty much a, a looting immunity. So, you can loot after you get a kill. An indicator on the BH interface showing if your target is in multi combat zone. That is brilliant. When using the teleport spell, if the target is one wild, it'll teleport you, I believe, into the PvP zone, because I remember doing this a lot, and it would teleport you in a safe zone, and you just stare at them, and nothing would happen. So, some pretty solid changes right. there as well. Keep going. I'm going to grab a drink of water a second, boys. All right. So, this is a super small paragraph, but it's called the Bounty Essence. Another system for upgrading weapons for PvP has also been suggested. Once a weapon has been upgraded with an item earned from the crates in the shop, like the Abyssal Dagger attachment, it would be cha charged with a new resource, Bounty Essence. This resource would be dropped by your targets. Oh, God, why? Why would you do that? Why would that be a thing? So pretty much any item that you get from the Bounty Hunter crates is going to be charged like a rev weapon with a new item called Bounty Essence. Okay. Mm. I'm good. I don't know. What's the, what's the benefit of doing so this? Yeah. Yeah, nah. They're adding another item in the game. They're pretty much forcing you to use something you know what I mean? It's just like a force yeah, kind of thing. What, what would be the benefit for filling your Abyssal Dagger with Bounty Essence? Well, they just want you to make... They want you to get Bounty Essence. They need to have a use for it. You know what I mean? There yeah, needs I to be a use for it. Yeah, but I don't understand. Like, if it doesn't empower the weapon further, what's the point in it? No, that's it just makes it so you can use it like a rev yeah, weapon. Yeah. I like it. That's how there's a, let us know if you like the idea. No. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, think so I've missed, sure, I think I've missed out on something, so I'm just going to read it myself, okay? Yeah, go I it. could summarize it for you, man. Any weapon okay. coming into the game through the crates needs to be charged like a rev weapon. It doesn't get oh. an upgrade, it's just so you can use it. So they're pretty much adding an item into the game for no reason. Nah, they shouldn't do that because like uh, the PK weapons, they degrade. And it should be the way that, that it is, right? Exactly. You should be able to keep them forever. Yeah, you don't exactly. Want like, what the fuck? Why would you want Festa's longsword last forever? Like, holy shit. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just feeding it to Essence. We good. <laughs> holy fuck. Nah, that's ridiculous, man. Because like, the thing okay. is, is that a, a lot of incentive comes from rewards that you can trade people. You know, you want to be able to trade it consistently. I feel like this whole charging thing is like it just makes the trading so annoying. Is then you have to like take out the charges, do all that. I right. also don't like a lot of the charging things. Yeah, yeah like, charging, charging is so weapon. annoying, dude. It is. Yeah, really yeah, annoying. yeah. Take yeah, it away. Take it away. Take yeah, it away. Yeah, just gotta away. like reduce the whole charging nonsense. Too much of that. Mm. Right. Yeah, I, I don't really. I don't know. I don't yeah, know I mean, like all the all the ancient warrior weapons, bro. They the way that it is is that you use it up, it degrades to nothing. Keep it that way. Yeah, I mean, everybody's yeah. used to that. Keep it that way. But the thing is, like, I don't feel like the Abyssal Dagger or the Saradom and Sword Upgrade is, like, mm. so significantly more powerful that it really needs to degrade into nothing. Like, Oh, no, no. I'm talking about the 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 weapons, the ancient uh, warrior's weapons. Those straight up degrade. Yeah. They, they should yeah, stay that way. The trouble with that, though, <laughs> is um, if that were the case, that would mean that you're fighting somebody who has an incredibly powerful weapon if not the most powerful weapons in game and when you kill them for it you get nothing that's usually how it goes yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's what I, I think that's what they're trying to say i here. see i see like, yeah like they want it to it. actually yeah but then yeah, at the but same those time, are so this... strong though you know what i'm saying they shouldn't last no th maybe maybe they shouldn't last but i kind of like the idea of smiting someone for a vls and getting the vls well couldn't you just make it so that it just remembers what charges it has left before it degrades or something but imagine uh, you i don't know <laughs> i don't know like it's uh, gonna be untradeable right so you can't sell it so if you that. feel it's, I, I mean if it's Un like charged know, in some way then you can't sell it you have to uncharge it if you want to sell it because like what what they're saying would be is that those items be become permanent items but the only way to yeah. to make it work is if you charge it right but that would make yeah, it permanent. makes a good point 
fuck, I want to PK a PvP weapon, but I yeah. don't want I them in the feel... game, so it doesn't even... <laughs> I feel yeah, like... Way, I, I... If they found a way to make it so that it remembers how much like time it has left in its life, like let's say you know uh, the someone's killing you with a weapon, the longsword, and and like when you kill them, uh, they dropped it at fifty percent, and you're able to pick it up, and it's like oh it has fifty percent left. Or whatever. No, that's Imagine easily just that's someone easily with like one second left. Yeah, yeah, that's very easily abusable <laughs> that because people would do risk fights with the LSs and be like oh it's got fifty percent when in reality it has like five, but. I don't it know. I don't think people would way. scam with that, would they? Oh, people would scam with anything, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, easily. Give, you the know, give sword? someone an inch, they'll take a mile. Like, they'll yeah, know. They'll everything. know that the longsword shit isn't like perm. You can't Look, even sell it. Dude, that's the thing. No, I'm saying like, is that the longsword doesn't have value though. The way that the way that I, I'm talking about it, you can't trade it. Like to to the someone. It does. It does. It doesn't say that though. I'm just I know. I'm up, saying dude. no. I'm saying like in this system because it was just you pick it up and you remember what charge it had left, right? I don't know. Man. That, the thing I is, know. I it's think they're trying. Yeah. No, no. I think they're trying to. I don't know what you're saying, but I think they're trying to get rid of the charges percentage of the weapon. Full stop. They want it gone. Yeah. And instead of yeah, having exactly. charges, they want to have essence in it. So like similar. I I know. They just want to make it forever, so that way you can sell it and trade it and whatever. Yeah. But I, I actually think that's a lot better than what it is to have it so it degrades. Because if it degrades, that means that if you smite somebody for a VLS, you get nothing. Whereas at least with this Bounty Hunter Essence, it means that if you smite them, or, or regardless of where you smite them, you, know what? you still get something. Yeah, race it. You know what? Let, that means what they should do is they need to make those weapons not that powerful. That's the only way, because you can't have a VLS that just lasts forever. That's strong, you know? That's but that's insane. <laughs> it can only work in PvP. Yeah, but it would <laughs> dominate, <laughs> right? Yeah, would not, that, would it not dominate all the PvP? It would dominate. Do, do you know what? Do yeah. you know what? Uh -huh. I don't even think this is worth having a discussion about. Uh -huh. Simply for the fact that you're right, it would be incredibly overpowered and it, and it lasts forever. And yeah. it probably <laughs> won't even pass the polls. So let's just move on. Do you yeah, know? yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. Gonna pass. I'll say one thing. The only though, way. So you changed, yeah. You changed my mind, right? If pvp weapons do come in the game then this would be a nicer way to go about it but i don't want them coming in the game or this essence so yeah i mean either, either way if they come out it's got to be nerfed because there's no way like the the stat i mean the vestas you know fucking longsword should be the way it is like no way <laughs> that's insanely yeah. strong holy shit yeah all right so these updates you can't vote on they're coming into the game whether you like it or not pvp integrity changes First, starting with the Granite Mall. Everyone knows it's going to yeah, have an attachment. My, my boy Jamal, dude. Yeah, let's go. Exactly, dude. Huh. And if if you don't have the attachment, you only have 60%, which means it's kind of still usable, right? DDSG Mall is still there. But if you have the attachment, you get the full uh, power behind the G Mall. They didn't want to ruin too many accounts. Yeah, the so dim still get it a bit. Bulwark is this one's kind of dumb. <laughs> worst item in the game and uh -huh. they're trying to nerf it by reducing the 10 stats across the board defense wise personally i don't think that's enough and then <laughs> they're gonna try to reduce it magic defense dude. by 18 to 0 which still Man. isn't enough dude they should just fucking remove the dim's bulwark <laughs> yeah, from the game right, the I only agree. use that item has is if you want to aggro shit that you're bursting or chinning because you can just use the special attack and hit an aerial yeah. effect or tanking in the wildy, that thing's gonna be worth like out value. A hundred percent, there's gonna be no use for it at all. It's gonna be the out value. They might as well just remove it. I mean, it. it's got uses it's in a PVM. Pile of shit. Niche uses in PVM. I mean, what they could do is the same way they did with the um, with the blowpipe. Like, Dude, all right, just make it like a name, <laughs> name name a PVM scenario where Din's ball work. Like, I generally don't know. When, oh, when well, we I, you, you use it. You use it for Slayer, and you use it for speed running raids. That's like the prominent ones. For for speed running what though? Rates. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. Well, you can that's use fair it. Enough. Yeah, you can use it to tank the the rope room and skip all of that, and you don't have to fight them. That's true. That's true. So I have problems. But, but think about it this way: they already lower. So they lower its defense, which makes it more shitty for PVM. What I feel like they should just make it so that you can't even fucking put it on when you're in the wilderness. <laughs> you know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> like there you go. In the wild. Yeah. Like this weapon, dude. Because yeah, that like, way we can keep the stats for the PVM, but at the same time you just can't fucking you know troll people in the wilderness with this thing. I agree with you because like if you think about it, if they're making like the other things only usable in PVP, yeah. Why can't they make so the shield is just not usable? In yeah, exactly. PvP? And and why do you have to cut the PVM aspect of it over? You know. 
You know, because like if you, know you lower you it by eighteen magic and ten defense, that's that's a pretty big hit on the PVM stuff. You know. Yeah, it is. We, so. we need to give the J mods up in Max Mage, all right, and then tell him to attack a guy with a Bulwark and Black Dehide, and, when they <laughs> and kill count him down how long lasts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, then they'll fucking start throwing their computers and doing updates, all right? Because uh, they don't try to kill those guys. They just see their comments on Reddit. If I can buy a 5 mil shield, I don't deserve to be killed. Shut the fuck up, man. Dude, you suck. I, do you know, uh, I really do wish there were more PVM scenarios where the Din's Bulwark could be really useful. So, like, in my mind... some, but yeah, it's not it, a lot. In my mind, if they brought out a boss, which was like, you know, say you're a T-bow and a boss, and it's like, do you know how slow the T-bow is? Obviously, there's like however many ticks. It's like, but if the boss is constantly firing stuff at you, and you can quickly, in between those ticks, equip the shield back to Tebow. Yeah, that's what people kind of do with the Dins and any other shield. Isn't there a delay well, that's on the sweaty. attack, though? Well, yeah, the, the, delay, the, the delay on the attack only applies if you're on the defensive mode, which reduces damage by uh, 20% or 30%. Uh oh, okay, guys. But if you're, just, if you're just flicking it for his normal stats, then there's no cooldown whatsoever. Yeah. But if you take uh, Din's Bulwark and full Justicar and you go down to like the Dagon of Kings, you can just sit there for like a long fucking time. Dude. Yeah, like, there's no reason to do that, but yeah, sure. You know, but uh, it's, that would have been a nice. It's quite cool. <laughs> that would have been yeah. a cool podcast thing, just in the background, have Rachel just, just taking Rex while we're yeah. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Seriously, man, you could just sit there for days. Yeah, uh, we have a better idea than ja for for this than Jagex. Just make it so you can't put it on the, in the wilderness. Boom, palms up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Everyone's happy. happy. <laughs> Do you know what? It makes it, it makes it's me think that so there are so many things Jagex could do to change this game and like the metas of it and stuff like. Do you know at the moment it's it's always been an offensive meta. So it's always like the more DPS you can do. The best yeah, DPS you can do, brother. that's the best way to do it. Yeah. But like, imagine if they made it, for example, like, imagine if like the Infernal Cape had like a burn effect, and anything that's attacking you while you're wearing the Infernal Cape slowly burns them, and it like takes their health down. Kind of like the Sunfire Cape, Mika, if you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah. that shit's um, just extra from. DPS, bro, thanks. Yeah, Wait, but like, uh, but, um, you imagine like... if... Imagine if that was like a meta where it was like, yeah, you could take all of the DPS gear, or you could just sit there and pull Justica or Din's Bulwark in your Infernal Cape and just watch them melt down as you AFK and watch like YouTube videos. Like that'd yeah, be kind of cool. I mean, I'm sure you would actually want that to be. That's another. <laughs> that's a, that's another big a topic. Is the issue? That's a PVM issue. It's more about like, should everything be focused around DPS? You know. Because, I mean, right now, that's what this game is. But, you know, that's another I mean, topic for it, another it's, time. It's quite logical, isn't it? It's like the faster yeah. something dies, the less damage you take. Exactly. That's pretty much the logic behind so it. So, Jagex, really in the future, they want to, you know, make some new challenges that really makes defensive armor shine. They, they have to... They have to think differently when they're designing a new boss, you know, that can, like... I'm all, I'm all for different metas. I feel like... But, but Rexy, oh. do you like League with the tank meta? My friend plays League and he fucking hates it. Because well, the tank, tank you league. Would... No, you just no it's a tank meta. meta. No? No. He watches a ton of professional Yo, Mika, Mika's, Mika's a sweaty boy in league. He knows. Dude, he I mean, dude, everything that, that... in league right now is assassins, dude. That's oh, the bad. thing, though. My bad, that's, Mika. That's the thing I like about League of Legends is like it's ever changing and quite adaptable. So it's like, yeah, you can go heavy DPS and effectively get one shot by someone else who's heavy DPS, or you can go like a champion which. You build a specific path on it, and you take the certain items, and it effectively makes you incredibly difficult to kill. But you passively kill the people around you slowly yeah, but surely. Yeah, yeah there needs to be I mean? more diversity. So, this game right now yeah. is just ninety nine percent DPS. That's literally all it is. So yeah. that kind of it's kind of like so, like what about all those barrels armor? What about all those like tanky armor? Because like everyone's like, oh, what's the point of the Elijah? All it does is tank. I want to kill things yeah. fast. Like, so people I don't mean, use it that much anymore, you know? So I, I, I think the biggest variety yeah. in armor that we've had in, like, ever, to be honest with you, would probably be, like, the DH set. Because that's very interesting and unique, isn't it? It's like, you get low health and you hit high. That's a very unique set. But there isn't really anything else which is useful, which is a tanky set and does something similar. Yeah, everything because, you know just, why? Like, they, they, haven't made, uh, they haven't made content where... Defense is the main focus, you know, they've only made content where it's simply about hitting things as hard as you can as fast as you can Yeah, and that's, like obviously the loot, the loot yeah. caters to that. It's like you get you get yeah, exactly. and you, and get, then, yeah. you get the bow of the gods and you can just one shot everything. Yeah, you just hit fucking 70 slab Sarah's booty cheeks with your eyes closed. Yeah, imagine imagine if black DI'd set, you know, the vamp shield top chaps <laughs> had a 
at a bonus. Lower HP, the faster you run, dude. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's yeah, you just fucking teleport three squares. <laughs> you just teleport three squares oh, every man. tick. <laughs> do, 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 you, you're get, just like, you, get, you get bonus like attack speed. Ah, oh, dude, we're thinking too. Oh, yeah. Man, anyways, that's a that's before. another topic for another day. It's like the whole yeah. All right. DPS so meta versus the, tank. To touch on the rise um, idea of. Uh, of like um, defensive armor not having a use. So the only way, like, how do you make it useful? Probably you just can't use protection prayers, right? If you make content about that, like, think about it. Like, because I mean, there's a lot of if ways. You make, if you make something that you can't pray, like the reason why DPS is the meta is because you can pray against everything for them, like anything you do pretty much. So yeah. if you can't pray against it, then in some situations maybe then you can yeah, make it yeah. so uh, so the tank armor actually has point. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, Mika, that's one way. There's a lot of ways. It's just uh, figure out which one is best for you know. Well, well, I actually I feel like uh, you know this is a tangent at this point, but like you can make different content where it kind of reinforces tanking in different ways. Like your example could be implemented in a future content, no problem, right? And then if you want to try something else, they can try something else for a different boss as well, right? It's like yeah. Yeah, there's so many ways to do it, and also, there's so much new content that can be had with it. Yeah, you don't have to point out every time we go on a tangent, man, because the viewers love it when we go on. Oh tangent. yeah, yeah, no, it's for the newer people because I, I know I know a lot of people are new and they're like, oh, this is not what I expect. So I'm just saying this this like this is yeah, what well, we, this is what it is. Dude, uh, with all due respect, man, huh. fuck the new people. They're here. This is what it is. It's yeah, you, yo, you watched 50 minutes in. You, you're one of us now, so no complaint. <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. If they're still watching at this point, we got them. So good. <laughs> but this is just us acknowledging that we do read the comments. All right, so we know what's yeah, going we, on. <laughs> we do. It's uh, awesome, man. Right. right anyways, right. What's uh, what's have you God caves? Have we read this one? Wait, wait. No, no, we haven't to... gone to this part. The bind snares. Uh, don't worry. I'll rush through this shit. I know yeah. all this. So the integrity updates coming in is a uh, bind snare and entangle, which are the regular free spells are not going to be halved through mage prayer they're going to set their full time it's going to be sweet because if you pk it on a normal spell book you try to snare somebody it only lasts like two seconds on mage prayer let me tell you you're not having a good time yeah cannot wait for that update um imbued god cape spec tabbing and untradables and pvm uh, imbued god capes will be changed to behave as untradables do and turn to broken form when dropped so you don't have to really come on bro they're going to change that Okay, whatever. Uh, so <laughs> that makes me kind of mad. Discussion around how untradeable should behave upon death and PVM is still ongoing. So they want to make it so that instead of getting a new cape, you just you keep your old it, cape, right? which kind of kills the content that they made deep wildy at Demonic Ruins, where you get yeah. your cape. Because that was actually a wilderness update, right? People had to go yeah. out and get their cape again. Mm -hmm. That that made the wildy a little more active. Now they're just like, eh, just slap 40k on it, dude. We don't give a shit. Okay. Well, yes. at I least mean, I, it's I a gold thing. So it's slightly yeah. better than what it was. <laughs> slightly. But, slightly. But then realistically, think about how many people camp down people getting Mage Cape 2s. So not many. Not many. many. It's just right here, the occasional at snipe. At least one a night. All right? I mean, I... at, the, at the Mage Arena, yes, but that's not really going to change. But like, actually in the Morty spots where you can get yeah. the capes. Like you, that's no, what I'm talking about. But you actually do that? Do you yeah, get at least people? one a night. I, I dude, I PK around Callisto, man. I see people all the time doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I you mean, know, you for for men, he just wants to kill more people. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's I why. I them every time I see them. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he no, just, no, no, no. He just I, wants to do your content. I'm saying you're not there specifically for them. You're for some fucking. Yeah. Like well, yeah, but like whatever that's comes. Why I like the deep yeah. 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 You know what I mean? There's different avenues. You know, like when I. It's like bank, for it's like uh, what is it? Pawn stars, right? Fucking, you never know what comes through those. You know, fucking. When you go to Mage Bank, man. All right, you're you're near um, pretty much the best bank to run to if you're doing your imbued capes, regular mage cape, Laren's key, the slayer down there by the stairs. You know what I mean? There's so many areas where you can just run into people, and that's what I like about the wilderness is you you know that you're gonna run into the majority of the time somebody doing this, but there's a chance you're gonna run into somebody getting their cape, uh, key. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. That's why I like it. You know, just that the you never want to run run into. You never man. know what's gonna come through those lovers, bro. Through those. <laughs> all right okay you know what this is crazy bro fucking the highest form of freeze on normal is 14.4 seconds not 14 seconds 14.4 seconds like why like why is it 10 5 10 and then 14.5 why not it must be like a tick thing it must be yeah maybe yeah i mean couldn't they have rounded up a bit nicer 14.4 <laughs> 
All right, whatever. Oh, this is a big one, actually. This is a big one. Yeah, magic defense is going to be different now. And it got me excited because I thought it'd be super different, but apparently it doesn't affect max mains that much. It's just, I don't know. So uh, many of the balancing issues in PvP are a result of the same item being used in PvM, just like Black DI, Bulwarks. Uh, Similarly, they're going to nerf the Black DI effective relative to the cost so they actually are going to go after the black dehyde eventually one way around this is to change items uh the way they behave in pv situations such as the toxic blowpipe however it is not easy or practical to have different versions or behaviors of every piece of equipment differentiating the way magic defense is calculated against players currently magic defense is calculated when uh it's weighed 70 30 on magic so magic is 70 percent of your defense and then your defense in general is 30 percent uh, they want to change it to 50-50, meaning max mains are going to be pretty much the same. It's going to affect pures and any other type of relative build. It's not going to rely too heavily on your magic, which is kind of nice. But, you know, as a main BKer as well, it'd be nice to see a different change. Uh, before the <clears throat> game uh, changes are made, we would like to test them in the new LMS. So this is being tested right now in the beta worlds. If you want to go try that out. Wait, wait, wait. Is the, wait, is last one standing back out? Yeah, yeah, they already released another oh, one. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy. I, it's all I right. Actually, I can't believe it, man. Are you serious? The, the changes aren't big, though. It's, like, really small. Yeah, you can't really yeah. build it. Well, actually, we're going to get onto the changes in a minute, so that's fine. We'll talk about that. I'm yeah. excited, man. I'm going to play some tonight. Then you'll see that there's, like, 30 people on a U world, and everyone's on <laughs> NA, and then you're going to be like, eh. Don't know oh, why, why, is there, yeah, why is there nobody playing? Because there's no reason. I mean, people want reasons, right, to play. Yeah, but they've already you gone through the no beta. Rewards, you have no nothing. Rewards, yeah. Like people, hey, yeah. You know what it is? Space. People are just That's tired of the better. betas now. You know, they they're they're yeah, ready to move on. We just on. want the real thing. <laughs> yeah, they want the real thing. <laughs> right. Let's. Uh, anyways, let's move on to the uh, the last man standing. So I play LMS a lot, and I I went to play it again last night, and I was able to get a win after three games, thankfully, but. Uh, it didn't seem like much was changed personally. You could, I, I don't know, man. Other than the bolts, that's all. They just changed them from dragon bolts to diamond bolts. That's no, the there are, I felt. All that right, let's before, let's right? go on to it. Uh, there has to be more than that, sure. No, there really are, small. but that's. What, what would they even bother? Come on, they did so well the first time around. Please tell me they've not messed this up. No, I think it's, it's... just the first one was pretty good, so the changes are pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> That's my feeling of it. Have they fixed the um? What was that? Oh no, the player ID thing. Um, that's that's uh. You want to watch Wooks's thing because that'd be a good one. Because um, uh, the I think talking about, about the blind, the corner yeah, the corner. blind yeah, cool. yeah, they box. fixed corners, I think, but or well, like when I did the LMS, I didn't yeah. feel any cornering anymore. Yeah, so yeah, they fixed that. Which I is don't good. think they fixed it. I, I think, think no did. one just does it. No, no, no. They no, fi- they, they, they actually, they yeah, they uh, implemented a new line of sight uh, system from R3, and like that fixed it. But it's in the beta, right? It obviously, it's not in the actual game. And and they're kind of testing whether or not they want to like you, you know keep it for LMS or just keep it for all the game. Because like if because like right now if if they change it throughout the whole game, then for PVM it's gonna change things quite a bit, like say spots and how mm-hmm. they work. So. So yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, be, right, I'll be right back. I think because <laughs> LC literally changes everything. I think in like fight caves and everything pretty much. So I guess I'll jump into what this LMS poll has to say. Yeah, let's uh, do. It. There are rewards for any mini game that players invest their time into. LMS should be no exception. It should be something that makes players want to invest their time more. Is this just going to talk about, like, the rewards? So the change log says added Berserker Shield. What the fuck? To, like, the Told fuck you. is that? The Jesus. fuck is a Berserker? <laughs> fuck is that, dude? Is that, like, it, was that the spiky thing back in the day? Yes, the sh- yes, that's oh, exactly the thing, get dude. that piece of shit out of the game, bro. Oh, my God, whatever. Um... Wait, and, hold up. Um, people, people that are watching aren't going to be able to see what we're talking about because uh, Ree's gone. He's not there's strong. no pictures. Don't worry. There's no oh, pictures. okay. 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 But if you guys remember back in the day, there was a shield with spikes. Kind of looked like a dehyde shield with spikes on it. I think they're adding those back. It gave strength bonus. I don't really understand how they work. Uh, added upgradable cosmic pull. 
dumb shit. Okay, let's see. Reward systems. So this is how you're going to get your points so you can go shop in the game. Zero points are rewarded for players placing between 20th and 24th. Sorry, Mika. One point for players placing Mate, between 10th. I'm winning 10th everyone, and... dude. Come on. <laughs> oh, but the... Uh... <laughs> Uh, one point for those who come in 10th and 19th place, two for those who place in between 5th and 9th, three for those 3rd and 4, four, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You get five points if you win. I think there was something about people being mad that if you just run around and survive, you'll still get points to farm. So that might be cheesing yeah. the game for points if you just run away from people. So we'll see how that goes. There will also be bonus points available on the number of kills in a single game, which is nice. One bonus point for any player who kills three three kills in the game. Two bonus points for anyone who kills five or more. So it's not too many points, to be honest. doesn't seem too rewarding to go for high-tier games, just survivability. That's kind of that's kind of lame. I don't know. Well, it depends what you much. can do with the points, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I mean, you're still going to be able to... Points, that's the thing. Let's go on to the rewards, then. Well, it's just um, a bunch of polling options. We well, can read the polling options, though. I don't mind. Uh, should the LMS Reward Shop offer a Deadman Mode cosmetic armor? Do you guys even give useless. a shit about? Yeah, that no, one's completely I literally, stupid. I literally don't care about anything cosmetic. Like, yeah. what's the actual reward for last month's standard? Armor it's doesn't mean nothing. That's why I'm Halo. depressed about it. It's nothing is useful. You'll see. Oh like, fucking what, what? What? You get a fucking piece of ham. On a boat. <laughs> I don't care about any of this. this is just too... uh, it's really bad. Okay, okay. Let's for the for the viewers listening. Okay, so one reward that's pretty cool is that they want you to be able to imbue an untradeable item, so you can give it to Purdue and it will drop seventy percent of the fee to the floor. So that's kind of useful. Other than that, they're gonna have some adult Halos or main Halos in the game. <laughs> Armadale Halo, Bando, Serene. Uh, I, I guess if you're a Halo guy. Uh, there's going to be a ham weapon, a three-speed one-handed weapon <laughs> for some so fucking reason. useless, man. So if you're an Obi Mauler, uh, let's see, the Staff of Balance, so you can cast Guthic Strike with this staff. That's also if useless. You, like, who uses really Guthic Strike? To... <laughs> hey, <laughs> like, now, <laughs> dude, it's going to be all the rage, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm, I was so sad when I saw this. You don't even want to know. I was so <laughs> sad. Right, no, dude, I, I've got a massive issue with this. So, yeah. Combat XP rewards. Similar to how, in, how it works in Pest Control, we would like to offer XP rewards for last month's standard points won inside the minigame. Players would be able to exchange the points in the store for combat skills that are above 25. The XP rates for doing so would not be as good as Pest Control. How Why the that? fuck not, dude? Pest yeah. Control gives you Void, which is like the best in-slot free armor that you can get. Unquestionable. Exactly. It's like almost on the same tier as like the highest armor we have in game. So like... Why would it be less, firstly? And also, I would accept less if there was a valid reward given from Last Man Standing, which there isn't. There, yeah, there isn't, isn't a decent reward. So why would it be less? I don't know, dude. I don't like, know. When I saw like, that, that needs... was such a joke. Dude, Jagex, have dro they've dropped the ball big time with this. They need to redo this. There's nothing on here which is appealing whatsoever. Like, not even point exchange. Sim similar to Barbarian Assault, we would like to offer the ability to exchange a number of points in order to roll on a generic loot table. The table includes a number of alchemical items, useful materials, and supplies. So basically, you get a loot box filled with shit, like Winter Talk. Like, <laughs> yeah. Who, yeah. who uh, cares? Much. This uh, is crazy. not... Going Dude, back there's... to the XP, right? I'm really sad you can't train non-combat skills. I mean, I was yeah. really hoping to get, like, 80 agility through PK. You know what I mean? It would have been like at least... Or, like, runecrafting, yeah. dude. Dude, yeah. honestly, like, exactly. that... That right there, what you just said, could literally save this entire poll right here. Yeah. If they did make it so you could put the XP into any skill you like, I would actually be like, hold, that's a really cool thing because now I can train this skill that I hate so much and I can do it through having fun. But the fact that you can and it's less XP than pest control, yet you don't get any other unique reward, which is notable unless you like halos. What's the point, man? Like, like, we know it's not going to be more XP than like the average, you know, the meta of training a skill, right? Yeah, so, no, it's not going to be a nightmare zone. Yeah, but still, just but if you think it. about pest control, you literally don't even need to play it, right? You just go in, you hit stuff every now and then, and then uh, you compared... have, on the other hand, you have LMS, which is like highly Super. click intensive game. You need to be good at it, or you need to try to get good at it. Yeah. It requires a lot of attention, full focus, and then the rewards are, what, 10k attack XP an hour, like... 
Yep. I'm, I'm obviously Dude. exaggerating a little bit, but it's really a joke. I Probably think. Probably 8K. The, the, yeah. this, is not, this is not rewarding hard work yeah. and effort yeah. at all. Yeah. And it needs to. If there are, like, this has so much potential. Everything about Last One Standing has been good. This is like the first thing I've said about Last One Standing I've disliked aside from people being able to attack you from corners. This needs to be perfect. If they nail this, they nail Last Man Standing. Nobody's going to play this minigame. They might as well just leave it how it was if they're going to put this as the rewards. Like, this is not appealing to anybody. Unless you want to get Halos, but then it's like the same as you go to PC. You get Void, yeah. you never go back there again. Do you know what I mean? You there think it's because they're be working better. too much on the Bounty Hunter update that they didn't want this to overshadow no, it? Dude, I don't want to, like, I don't want to... I, I don't want to assume anything, to be completely honest, but it might just be that... You know they've got quite a small team and they have like i know mod rocks like the main guy that's on top of this but the reward needs to be something more dude it needs to be good like like a very basic one off the top of my head and i don't know how you guys feel about this but i know for a fact like if they were to make it so like if you were literally so good at last one standard you won or came top three in every game you played if you could make like a solid amount of GP, not that I want GP to be the reward, but if it was like say two, three, four mil an hour, that would give people incentive to get good at it. But the fact that you're just getting garbage and it's not going to be worth anything per hour, why are people going to bother? Yeah, like, that's, I would that's take the bottom a mil an line. hour. I would take. I, it'd be sad, but I'd take a mil an hour for top yeah. at least. Like, if the, if they made it to like five. If they made it so like it was a mil an hour, if you place in like, say if they made it between one to three mil an hour, if you topped within, if you place within the top three of every game you played, and on top of that, there was the option to be able to trade your points in to be able to get XP and skills that are non-combat related, and combat related skills, that would oh, be okay. Not enough combat, for me to play. not combat, not non-combat. Combat should make sense. But well, no, because that, that's what we're discussing. Like, yeah. I've got a really big issue with the fact. That it's just combat. Now I wouldn't really have and an it's issue, bad. With that, but it's and it's, bad it's less than it's less than pest control. Like, why is anybody gonna do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there needs yeah. to be incentive yeah, behind sure. it. Um, uh, have they, it's gonna have be they, dead on release. I message that. On yeah, Twitter, it's it's so. gonna be dead on release. I'm not surprised nobody's playing the beta because everyone's yeah. just like, well, this fucking this is done. This is they dropped the ball like big time. Okay, so basically, so I mentioned that on Twitter and I added uh, Rock in it and basically his <laughs> response was that if they were to poll that the XP rates would be comparable to Nightmare Zone, for example. Oh, everybody you know, would don't make it no. Why don't we're not asking for Nightmare, Nightmare Zone? I'm just, for, yeah, wait, we didn't ask for that, but that was his response. I'm just saying. First of all, so basically, sorry, make, 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 <laughs> make a say that again, please. I missed the last one. Okay, so said. basically, I'm, I, I said exact thing that why should, um, why should LMS XP be less than... Uh, uh, pest control and then rock's response was if they were to pull um the xp being for example nightmare zone comparable everybody would vote no to it but if they pulled it like worse than something and then buff it later it's the better way to go about it that was his response kind of like that okay yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's, that's okay that's fine that, but, that's um, like a safe option but right yeah. now this is yeah like, i there think is this is really appealing. shit the way it is right now. yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you can't yeah. you it's can't safe. start off a brand new mini game dead right yeah, yeah even yeah. trouble yeah. brewing was alive when it came out you know what i mean you can't start <laughs> this shit off how many of you guys actually played trouble brewing ever no, I, I don't even remember i have k trouble brewing so d d you've, you've got to do it for a task yeah well i've done that you just need to go in and out pretty much I think. <laughs> yeah, I've done you know. that. I've done yeah, that. I've done that too, but outside you know, of that, I haven't it. played it. What? Hit up Mod Rock and say, don't worry, man. Berserker Shield saved. All right? You know Dude, I mean? then it, it, it was funny because some people were like trolling and they were like, can't wait to start farming Berserker Shields in LMS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I it's think, so bad, dude. I think it's time for Jagex to actually start, like, figure out an ELO system and actually figure out where the ELO system should be in what place. Because no, I think all this is doing is just trying to create a trend for people to play a mini game for a little bit and then just it dies, you know. Yeah. And move yeah. on to the next thing. Uh. Yeah, because like I I don't think that's a viable long term thing because what is the point? You're just gonna make something just for the hype and then it's just gonna die in like two weeks because that's what it feels hey, hey. like right now. What this Imagine the conversation, standing. right? Because yeah. you know they have this conversation at JXH. You're like, all right, LMS ideas, we can't add to the economy. Uh, what are we thinking? And it's just like this guy in a corner goes, Always the same shit. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. fuck, I unplugged my thing real quick. <laughs> <laughs> One second. All right, I got to take these out. Yeah, okay, just seriously, look at me. 
All right. He just goes like this. He I'm goes, okay. What about Berserker Shields? And, you, <laughs> and then everyone's like, like, yes. You know what? You're hired. You're a upgrade, you know? <laughs> I'm oh, paying, I'm paying what you. What about Berserker Shields, Raising guys? your pay wage. Oh, yeah. That's so, you're so right, though. That's just so fucking random. Yeah, no, no. Like, all this stuff is, I'm not gonna lie to you. All this stuff is, you know, overdone, cosmetics, some niche shit from the past yeah. that is irrelevant. Dude, do you, do you want to know that's something not point, funny? You know, that's not I, what we're looking for. I'm actually currently right now. I am in the Play Last League. Man Standing beta world. There is not a single person playing Last Man Standing. Everyone's yep. fighting in clan wars. Like that <laughs> speaks for itself, dude. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yeah. There's nobody Yikes. in like. I'm in the EU world, but I, I don't yeah, know if it's UK yeah. or German. But there's nobody playing Last Man Standing. There was one dude queuing up for it, and I ran over to the bank at Clan Wars to see if anybody's here. And there's every single player is here, and everyone's so up here. For the team. So here's the deal, right? I don't think any of this stuff is gonna work out. They really need to actually start thinking about the long-term PvP viability, which is stuff like co actual competition. You know, like actual elo system, right? Like, yeah. I don't know if Last Man Standing could be the start to something where people can actually, like, get raped oh, or something. But they need to do something that. super random, by the way? Yeah, it, it could be. Yeah, if I'm all saying. of us could add one reward to LMS, if you could think just like that on the top of your head, right? What would it be? What would, let's say, each one of you, uh, what would you... Dragon, to... Berserker, Shield. Uh, no, don't, <laughs> don't, don't say that. <laughs> no. Like, no, seriously, like, if you could, because I think the problem was, and Rock mentioned that as well, the problem was people just don't give suggestions. Now, if you give him suggestions, I they will. Obviously, will. a lot of people do, but that was the response. All right, all right. Tweet, okay, dude. simple. And he didn't respond to shit. I got you. So that's, that, 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 that's fair enough. Let's brainstorm. Let's all right, just, uh, yeah, okay, I'll start exactly. first. Really simple, all right? Let's use Vorkath as a standard. Um, no, that's not. But let's say, let's make it a little less than that, right? Right now, Vorkath's probably around 3 mil plus an hour, right? On a good account. So why, won't we, why don't we set it for whoever wins gets 2 mil? So make half the rewards yeah, but the out games are much the, ga the games are much quicker. You need to keep that. Yeah, 2 mil an hour. I'm saying 2 mil an hour. Oh, like, okay. 2 okay, mil yeah, an hour. Okay, like, okay. So let's, let's say half of the rewards is, you know, standard alkable shit, whether it's like... Um, you know, rune items or whatever. You know, the, the things that you can process and it'll turn into gold. And then maybe, the other half like is... Like gear. Like yeah, yeah. Stuff. And, yeah. And the other okay, half yeah, is yeah. uniques, right? So, like, you know how they already have a bunch of shit for the whole bounty hunter? I mean, why not, you know, give some of the same rewards? Because it's yeah. PvP, right? It's I, PvP. What's, I agree with this. What's the difference? Like, if they okay. add VLS to the game, for example, why not come from LMS? Imagine yeah, why VLS not also or... give it a chance to do yeah. that, right? That would be What's sick. so hard about that, right? What if, what if they gave Laren's keys? <laughs> Right. For example, that's not uh, dumb either. Why not connect like, the you, you know connect the, wild... the PVP system, bro? There let's you say know. you let's say you uh, you get a five kill game, you get the Laren key out of it or something dumb like that. Yeah, like, create just a, a PVP reward kind of ecosystem, yeah. dog. I, lo yeah. I like that. The connect the people dots. that are a high skill cap. Yep. Um, dude, there's like there's endless potential they could do for this. Firstly, introduce rank system. Like, yeah, system I'm more interested experience. in the fact that they build a sustainable competitive yeah. environment where people like not just care about like oh what am i gonna get in game but more so care about like if i get this rank i have a chance to compete with the best people and like you know we go do some competitions win some real prizes stuff like that right i think that's what yeah. really works in the long yeah. run it's not what they you get add, um, pixels think about it they're adding all those chairs for gauntlet right yeah why like, not add chairs for the best lms player just like really random are we talking about chairs dude because that's what they that did was the reward for the gauntlet yeah like the best the gauntlet hell? completion yeah you get gaming chairs yeah you know, you, oh yeah, okay. speed yeah. running. Like, what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that's just completely random thought that came like no, yeah, yeah they should real prizes that's, that's, that's a really good suggestion yeah, they can no, make it like true. you know in league they give out challenger yeah. jackets and bags like you I got said, you got one didn't you Mika? I saw yeah, yeah i did i got that i, I was yeah. showing my friend yeah. man, reflex by the way <laughs> no he did really bad he was like that's badass but yeah. like yeah if, uh -huh. they, if they did something like that they rewarded like the top 100 players and like sent them out like a custom runescape yeah 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 exactly that, that would be good but like there needs to be something in game which is a reward which is something yeah that's I fine i think the two mil bracket two mil top bracket is good an hour I think I got, that's I really got Yeah, I, I'd be happy with two. And, and you also get this whole like extrinsic value, like chairs or money or whatever, cash prizes, whatever, right? Because it's big. That, I mean, that's how it works. That's how, how, how PvP. How would you guys in any other game Sorry. works? Sorry. Yeah. How would you I, guys? I got, I got an idea. 
How would you guys? Let me go ahead a sec. How would you guys feel if they were to say, okay, so if you get a certain amount, but now this is something like I don't even know how I feel about this before. So disclaimer. But if they were like, okay, so if you have this many points because you've won this many games, you can unlock a new item for inside of Last Man Standing. Now, like I said, I don't know how I feel about that, but for example, if they had it set to like, if you get a thousand points, you can spend it on say like a Karassi sword, which is a dude, you're reading my you, brain. You're reading you, my you, brain, dude. Not, not that you'd get it in the real game, but there's a chance you could get it from like the little crates you open with keys after you kill people. Or like, okay. you know, something along those lines, like, Maybe you could get like an ancestral piece or, you know, something which is higher tier than what you can currently get. You unlock it or maybe you always have access to it, but it's a very small chance and you can pay to make that chance larger. So it's like the more you play, the more time you put in, mm, the more likely you. you are to get that. You're going to get that item. But at the same time, you use a lot of points by doing it. I don't know how I feel about that, but that's... Yeah, that, that could suggestion. have some slippery slope down the line. Because then yeah, people might... At the end of the day, we are brainstorming up. right yeah. now, so even yeah. the yeah. bad ideas are good ideas. So. Yo, yeah, I'm just saying, bro, like, cosmetics, like, all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think it's everyone's like, tired Nobody of cares. Honestly, yeah, nobody right, cares. Listen to my that. idea right here, all right? You ready for this shit? Items in the wilderness that work only in the wild, but for skilling. All right. Sounds like okay. brawler gloves. <laughs> Why not? No, 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 no. Like, you know, the resource area is dead as fuck, right? No one cuts those trees. What if there was an axe that could slam the shit out of those trees, dude? Right? Easily. But you can only unlock it through LMS. And Runeite Ore. Huge. Okay. Huge in the wild. Okay. What if there was a pick that mines it like 50% faster? Right? There's only a limited amount of resources in the wild anyway, so it's not going to fucking inflate the economy. Okay, and you're, you're right. I agree. I agree. And you're putting more people in the wilderness. Okay, would it be tradable or would it be untradable? Tradable, of okay, course. Okay, you know? okay. And you know you what? Sell this. That sounds pretty good, honestly. That sounds Another pretty idea. Good. Unlimited ether, but you die with it. So say you put it in your crossbow, you don't need any more charges, but if you die, that's, it's gone. Yo, can someone write this down? Like, that that's a... That's actually hey, a really can good idea. Someone I actually, watching these videos write it down exactly, and then report it exactly. to Jagex. Boom. Dude, Shot. but no, that's Minty. such a genius idea. Hold uh, up. Imagine, like, no, that's honestly yeah, really it's good, good stuff. I you don't really just, have anything. Unlimited, <laughs> like an item that's unlimited after, but you always lose it on death. Why not? Like, that's actually sick. Huh. I think that's a good idea. I like that. Thank yeah. Uh, I also think about the Elo system though. But for real, stop like trying to, you know, make things trending but only last for like two weeks that's not yeah i like that there's no like point the... in that you know there's no point because yeah especially if it's like right like it is right now and you can just queue up with anyone like that's yeah. just weird like they always kind of proposed that it's gonna be like elo system but then again they don't have any <laughs> anyone with anyone like if i queue up for league i'm not gonna play with against a bronze person if i'm not bronze you know exactly like if a new person plays LMS, he shouldn't be playing versus the best of the best. Yeah, because then it, it, it's like those guys don't want to play anymore because they keep getting smacked every time. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, like, they what really what need I that. would add, what, <laughs> yeah. what I would add is it's a bit weird, right? But I would do like if I could, I would make it so you could queue up for it, but then do something outside of it. Yeah. So then when that's the full server would be a thing, for example, right? We you, talked about that. You just queue yeah. up. Yeah, and, and then you do whatever the hell you well, want beforehand. Exactly, yeah. And then when there's 24 people, everyone goes in. Yep. I that's that what they need to do. Really nice. yeah. I think they, they were really testing that do. idea, but I don't think it ever came to fruition. Sadly. So, are, are you kind of talking like in World of Warcraft, where obviously you can queue up for like a dungeon when you're doing something Yeah, like a lot of MMOs have that system, where if an event happens, you can be anywhere. You can be do anything. But when it happens and it's you're, it says you're ready to go, you click on whatever the button is and you go there, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the, any yeah. other ammo has that. The, this game needs to have something like that too. Like, yeah, that would be that. Yeah, that would that actually be, be very good. Because like that it's would... so inconvenient to have to go there and then, you know, like and then wait yeah. and then get in. Like, nah, that's dumb. Yeah, I, do you know what? Even if they did something like that, I don't even think like the rewards would be like have to be that good. I think people would just do it as like a downtime to pass time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, so I do, I do think that that at the very least is a good idea. Yeah. And it should be something that should be thought about. That'd be, but then they'd have to obviously they'd have to work on like coding some sort of system. Yeah, where, I mean, know, it, enough of their excuses, you bro. Just like if you want something viable, because like yeah. they have to think long term. It's it's just not worth the time for them to constantly have to go back to old content just to make it trending for two weeks every time and release the dead block, wait for people feedback and like. 
Like you need to make something that actually will last long term. Because none of this is long term. This is like cosmetic nonsense. You know, yeah. it's not gonna revive anything. They need a wilderness J mod, baby. So. Mod Minty 2020. Let's get it. Let's get it, bro. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, really that's about it. I think I think I'm talking in circles now. So. <laughs> All right, Mika. Do you have any suggestions? So. Guys, we're at one hour and forty-four minutes. What'd you like? To yeah, do? yeah, we're, we're going we're, hard. We're, all right, we're we're gonna, one yeah. more suggestion. All right, we'll one more suggestion. Potentially, I, I think that <laughs> one like was really important, but now, hmm. <laughs> dude, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like on the spot, it's like kind of hard, but definitely like XP rewards. If 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 they go that way and they give XP rewards, definitely way better than pass control. But a little bit like if they want to make it worse than NMZ, make it worse than NMZ, but don't make it like completely shit. Um, but in my opinion, it should be like competitive with NMZ because it, NMZ is AFK. Like, what do you do there? You go there, you click every, I don't know how many minutes, you don't do anything, you get insane XP an hour. Why can't you get the same XP an hour if they put that option in while being super like into the game? Because imagine how many people could then build accounts playing LMS. Like, you would play have... LMS, get XP, mm. build accounts that way. I don't know, I think it would be cool. It would be idea. cool. I like that idea. Where you yeah. could turn in a shit ton of points and make your account to appear automatically, right? But it'd be a ton of points. And by the time you learn to PK and get those points, you'd be ready to go in the wild. Yeah, that that's like the perfect gateway into PKing right there. And you yeah, get yourself exactly. an account. It's like you learn to PK with stats you While don't have. While getting the stats. Exactly. And then you get the... That's like super smart. That's yeah. a really, really good idea. I think that would be an amazing idea. But if the XP rates are what are they are or like what they are right now, that's just that idea just doesn't work because it's just way too low. But yeah, I think that would be sick. That is a really good idea. I like that. I do well, definitely, I do definitely think that gods, yeah, they dropped the ball with these rewards. A hundred percent, man. They need to be improved. There's I'm like nothing on here. Yeah, I, I don't even mean to be mean. This is just like my feedback. But there's nothing on this reward page that appeals to me in the slightest. Nothing. I felt the same way when I first saw it. It was just, yeah. I mean, I'll give them credit where credit's due. Having a new Halo. Cool. <laughs> no, I mean? no, no credit I don't there. even what think that's right cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mean, think... A how, many times did you award, how many times I, did you have a halo like you I, i've got dumb. one on my pure i've never well, had one on any of my account know, do you know what i mean it's, it's like you know yeah i definitely get uh, those halos just because i know that i play the game but yeah i'm very um i don't know it's like uh what's the word anticlimactic yeah. i thought i thought the rewards were going to be good Really like this new LMS. It's got a uh, different colored circles and a shield with spikes. <laughs> uh, the golden fucking game. Oh no no, that's the about this. Never mind. Doesn't even have that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna Dude, be a good time. We should a hundred percent see if we could get Mod Rock to come on the podcast. Yeah, you should. Oh my god, and that'd be amazing. All right, Rexy, that's you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could, I could message him and see what he says because I genuinely like, I, I genuinely want to know what he has to say about this. Dude, Ozark's it's, podcast making changes in old school right now. That's it's what like, I'm talking about. It, it's not to be mean. It's to be, um, what's the word? It's to, it's to give feedback in a positive right? way, right? Constructive. And like, yeah. to, to me, if I'm perfectly honest, and I'd say this to Rock, it's like they have missed a huge opportunity and like yeah. they've completely misread something here. Like this is just simply wrong. And mm. if that does come down to a fact that people aren't giving suggestions... Well, then something about that needs to change. And we need to talk about suggestions. And we need to, like, you know, it needs to be something which people can actually yeah, go ahead. Call to action, boys. Feedback. Call to action. Yeah. Because what they put out here, it's clear there's like a massive, there's like a big, there's a disconnect. Yeah. That's the best word for it. There's a huge disconnect. So, yeah, that needs to be worked on. Right. Anyways, should we wrap it up, boys? If it's been almost yep. two hours, yeah, man. 140. I got a computer to build, boys. baby. It's all oh, a you, podcast, though. Are you building a computer, man? Yeah, 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 right, right here. You can see it. Yeah, what can it run? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> RuneScape in Ultra HD. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. It can run almost two clients at once. So look at this. Oh, look at this humble man not getting a sponsor from Ironside and actually funding the fucking computer out of his own pocket, man. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 other sponsors. <laughs> other sponsors. <laughs> What a beast. Right. All right. Anyways, let's wrap it up, boys. Mika, thank you very much for coming on, man. Hey, thanks for um, having me, man. 
can't think of a better guest that we could have on for this subject, to be honest, you know. I can think of a couple. Sorry for the <laughs> random in the, middle of the in the middle of the podcast. Sometimes I just can't control it. No, it's, it's <laughs> fine, mate. It's that endearing. That was the best part. That was the best part. <laughs> Right, anyways, dude, Mika, where can the people find you? What are your social medias, my friends? I guess just twitch.tv slash Mika the 79. I kind of try to stream every day, and then youtube.com slash Mika the 79. Do you like League of Legends in a. Yeah, I kind of play a lot of League right now, so I don't know if that's, you know, but. It's all right, bro. It's all right. We support the boys wherever they go. Um, Yeah, what's the plans, man, this month? You know, the upcoming months for you. Oh, the upcoming month? Okay, so I'm moving out, so I need a place to live. So if anyone is from Slovenia and needs a roommate, let me know. Dude, that fly on over to Idaho, bro. Let's get Dude, it. I would, but I would not. Nah, but uh, yeah, I guess the plan is just to move out nicely. And that's pretty much it. And work on YouTube? N- no big plan. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. There are some, some nice Deadman Mode videos. I have some decent plans for that. Wait, Sounds we talked good. about that on the podcast, right? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So basically a bunch of Deadman Mode ideas that I still am working on, but... Those are gonna come out when they come out, so I'm pretty excited for those, I guess. Hmm. Sounds Sweet, good. Dude. All right. Remember, guys, buy your Majed T-shirts and. Oh uh, wait, we haven't pan or flex shit. Oh, we should have done that at the beginning, uh, man. Yeah, like, dude, just insert the like of the video, time. please. <laughs> please. Dude, who's not gonna like when Mika's laughs? Just dude, yeah, but yeah. honestly, the dude, honestly, the start of this podcast was a bit, it was actually such a joke, man. I know. <laughs> it was just. Good. Uh, yeah, you still haven't goes, answered my question, dude. Before it becomes chunky, more of a joke. Like your chunky. Like your chunky. Dude, what the fuck? I you don't like, know what. Do you like him funky and chunky, man? What is that supposed to even mean? Do you like, like, him, do you like them a little wider? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, no, not no, no. I, Do you like them is... thick girls? <laughs> or do you like them skinny girls? <laughs> yeah, man, that's right, what we're so saying. I guess, I guess the normal in the middle. I don't know. All like... right, cool. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, we're going to wrap up now. All right, bye-bye.